I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. So we're underway already with Angebur and Belinda Bencic. Angebur, is she the highest seed left in the draw? Incredible. Bencic serving, 40-15. That's the first one. Second serve coming. Be nice to set on the nerves and get that first game on the board. To the body. Great forehand return from Jabur. Bencic can't take advantage. Is my feed a little bit slow? What's going on here? 40-30. 40-30 to Bencic. About to serve. Down the middle. Forehand return. Bencic to the backhand. They're trading backhands in the middle of the court. Bencic hits the net. Hard to get a rhythm against Jabur. She's always slicing and doing something a little bit different. Now it's juice. Not great for the nerves on your uh, on your first game. Good afternoon, Lexi. Thank you for the nice welcome. Hope everything's well with you. Whereabouts are you? Juice, Bencic. We're in Swiss colours. About to serve. Hmm. Take a little breather. Something going on. Coming back to serve now. The juice. Serves to the forehand, return down the other side. Comes to the net. Oh. So she moved Jabur from side to side, came into the net, down the line. Guess what? Wins the point from the net. I'm a big believer in you winning a much higher percentage of points from the net. She wins the point, goes to advantage. Can she get her first, first service game on the board? Advantage Bencic. Serves out wide, backhand return, right on the line. Right on the line at Benchich's feet, hits it a little bit too long. One of the three sort of classic return return places you hit to, either away from the away from the server either side or straight at their feet. That's exactly what Jabur did. Benchich hadn't got her feet warmed up. Back to juice. Back to juice. Ready to go. First serve out wide. Big stretch from Jabur gets it in. Benchich on the run. And I think. The return was a little bit wide. I think it was a little bit wide. So the wide serve seemed to yield rewards. The umpire's down having a look. Ref's having a look. Yep, just out. Advantage Bencic. So great tactic, the, the serve out wide. Pulls your opponent right out of position. Gives you the chance to hit into the rest of the court. Should be advantage Benchich when they update the score. Yeah, there we go. So can she close out? How many juices have we had so far? Three? Down the middle, a little bit long. Second serve. What would Javer do with this? Anything can happen with Javer playing. No, double faults hits the net. Goes out wide. Starts to get very nervy the longer this goes on. The server should win, but it starts to get very nervy. So Bencic, out of fourth juice now, third, fourth juice, about to serve again. Would it be out wide? Here we go. No, it's down the tee. Changed it up. Return down the middle. Forehand trading between both ladies. Now to the backhand of Jabur. Hits it down the line. Now to the forehand of Jabur. So Bencic is trying to move her. Jabur's moving really well. Now she's moving Bencic back behind her on the forehand. What a great change in momentum. Bencic was moving Jabur over the court. Then Jabur switched things, started moving Bencic. 
classic hitting behind her on the clay. So she'd hit a forehand, Benchich tried to move back to the middle. Jabir hits it back behind her, really hard to move on the clay, especially when you're just starting out now and you're not quite as warmed up as you'd like to be. So advantage, Jabir, advantage, Jabir. Serves to the body, Jabir can't control it. Hits it a little bit long, back to juice. I feel like I could go make a cup of tea during this one. Joseph, good afternoon. Hope you're well. To the bench, it, bench it serves to the Jabir backhand. A little bit long. Second serve. Very nervy. Second serve out wide. Jabir hits a great forehand cross court. Now hits it to the backhand side of Bencic. Bencic having to move, hits it a little bit long. Fantastic return from Jabir. Really pulls it out wide to the Bencic forehand and then hits the next shot to the Bencic backhand. And it's really hard to get all your shots in when you're having to move so much every time. Break point number two for Jabir. All the pressure on Bencic. Bencic about to serve. Hmm, looks like it's a little windy out there. Maybe it's putting them off a bit. First serve. Jabir comes in. Bencic tries to pass, goes wide. Jabir breaks. Fantastic play from the very talented. Right, so where are we? Have we got any predictions for this one? Have we got any predictions for this one? I think these two ladies are neck and neck, actually. They've met twice before. They've met twice before. Bencic has won both, but Jabir's pushed a really close. Retired and won the matches, but it was neck and neck. So Jabir's serving now. Can she consolidate this break? First serve in. Bencic hits it long. Jabir in a bit of control here. Serving at 15, love. Going out wide, but hits the net. Second serve. Second serve, a staying alive, getting in the point. Oh, my word. Not a bad second serve, but Bencic was all over it. Backhand return, sh backhand return short, cross court short, and it's just too far away from Jabir to get to. 15 all. 15 all. Jabir serving, wide to the forehand, defensive back from Bencic. Jabir down the line, got Bencic on the run. Smash coming up, straight back to Bencic, though. Jabir at the net. Oh, so that smash from uh, Jabir was straight back to Bencic, but she was already in at the net, came in, took the power off the volley, cross court. Second point in the match, I think, one from the net. I'm a big believer in the fact that you win a much higher percentage of your points from the net than you do from the baseline. Oh, so Jabir serves out wide, Bencic hits in the net, 40-15, looking like a relatively comfortable service game for Ange Jabir. Tries to serve down the tee, a little bit wide. Bencic having a look for the mark. I think she accepts that it was wide. No, actually it was in. She accepts it was in. Who are we going for? Vamos the ons. What does this JG know? Vamos the ons. Bencic serving down the middle onto the Jabir backhand. Trading down the middle of the court really at the moment. 
Chain down the middle of the court. Jabir tries to change the direction going down the line, just misses it. Very hard to change the direction. Great tactic if you can do it, but it is something these ladies practice time and time again. Couldn't couldn't execute that time though. The Bencic 15 love up. Serves down the tee. Beautiful serve right on the tee, curving away from Javert. Very hard to get to those serves when you're on clay. 30 love up. Really important for Bencic not to go three love and the double breakdown. Here come the puns. Here come the puns. Great first serve from Bencic. Jabir hits it a bit long. Carl, what she'd have given for some of those serves in her first service game where Jabir broke her. But she's 40 love up. 40 love up. What have we got? What have we got? Are we going to make Joseph a happy man? Serves out wide. A little bit, uh, little bit long. Second serve for Bencic. 40 love up. Boom to the body a little bit, but it's a little bit long. It's not a game to love. Josip, we're going to put the champagne back on ice, pal. Can put the champagne back on ice. God, Robin, where do you get these puns from? Is there some pun page on the website where you get these from? First serve from Jabir, uh, from Bencic at 40-15, hits it in the net. Is this going to be a repeat of her first service game where she let Jabir come back in? Second serve, tries to hit it a little bit out wide. Jabir hits it wide, 2-1, Bencic on the board. Oh, a little bit of a changeover, time for a break. So where is everyone from? Lexi, where are you from? Son of Robin Records, where are you from? Supersonic. Josh, Joseph, Joseph, you're in Australia, aren't you? Meadow, where is everyone from? I'm near Watford. I'm in a very darkened room near Watford with my family playing around, having fun downstairs. Where is everyone from? There's a button the boys play every time a player breaks. Did I play that before? Did I play the button before, Lexi? I thought I played the button before. There's so many buttons. I don't want to press the wrong one. Don't want to press the wrong one. West London Robin Records. That's a big place. Where in West London? We want to know. Geelong, Geelong, Australia. Tell you what, Joseph. I was watching. Uh, I was watching a Netflix series the other day about some secret listening station in Australia, in the middle of nowhere. It was brilliant. Just the Australian uh, Australian countryside, or lack of countryside, just looks absolutely incredible. Love to go one day. Lots of friends and other coaches in Australia. Yes, just not the just not the Jabir button. What is that? What is this? What does that mean? We want music. Okay, sorry, sorry. We want music. Uh, what music can I give you? What music can I give you? Uh, how about, well, who won that? Benchich. <laughs> God, there are some talented singers in this game to love business, aren't there? Here we go. Jabir serving, Benchich Nets, 15 love, the Ons. 15 love, the Ons. A slightly aqua looking outfit. I quite like that. I like that colour. About to serve at 15 love. Tries to serve out wide. Think it's a little bit too wide. Second serve coming. Bencic doesn't move that much further in. But Jabir Nets, 15 all. 15 all. I think there's an interesting stat somewhere from Craig, Craig O'Shaughnessy. In the women's game, if you double fault twice in a game, it's pretty much nailed on that you're going to lose that game. So Jabir Nets on the first serve. 
gets the second serve in down the middle, then hits it out wide to the Bencic forehand. Bencic can't just get there. Supersonic, currently in Israel. Where in Israel? Where in Israel? I used to be on the kibbutz in Israel many years ago, near Kirat Shimona. So Jabir, 30-15 up, serving. Not sure if she got that first serve in. She's having a look. Ref down to have a quick look. Umpire down to have a quick look. Looking at the mark. Looks like it's in. Looks like it might have touched the line. Looks like it's in. I think it's going to be 40-15. Yes, 40-15. Um, Jabir serves down the middle, but a little bit wide. Second serve, 40-15. Chance to take a 3-1 lead. Bench its nets. That is a 3-1 lead. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about arms, Jabir. Wide at 3-1 down. Trying to get back into this match. Great serve out wide. 15 love. It's a fantastic tactic in tennis anyway, but especially on a clay court where it's so hard to move. 15 love Bencic. Serving now. Boom, first serve out wide. Backhand return from Jabir right at Bencic's feet. Same tactic as uh, a few points ago on the serve. And it's 15 all. Bencic just can't move her feet and dig this shot out. Bechamish Sonic. I don't know that. I'll have to look it up. Whereabouts is that? Let me know whereabouts that is. Bencic serving 15 all. Boom, down the middle a little bit. Return down the middle. Hits it wide to the forehand. Great tactic. You can have a fantastic serve out wide, but if you're doing it all the time, people wise up to it and return it. So to change it up and the ability to change it up is really important. The ability for these players to be able to hit all four spots, wide down the middle and wide down the middle, down the advantage side as well. Serving 30-15 down the middle, return down the middle. They're trading down the middle. And then Jabir moves Bencic a couple of steps out to the backhand side and she just can't return it properly. So what the players will try and do is just trade to each other until they spot an opportunity. Jabir was the first one to be proactive, gets the point. 30 all. 30 all. Bencic serving. It's quite a pressure point, this, because the next point takes you to a game point. Serves down the middle. Bench, uh, Jabir on the stretch with the backhand. Then Bencic moves her right out to the backhand side. She manages to defensively pull her backhand back, backhand lob back, and Bencic didn't go for it. Thought it was going out, left it, and it actually hit right on the line. Jabir gets the point. Break point. Break point. Huh. Serves down the middle, trading forehand to Jabir's backhand. She slices it in, forehand to Jabir backhand, slices it back in again. Bencic again playing on the backhand, playing towards the backhand of Jabir, who slices it back, and she just can't really handle it. So can he play from Jabir, just slicing the backhands back into play? And Bencic couldn't really handle it, couldn't generate the power, couldn't handle it. And you can look at these two ladies' head-to-head -head record and see that Bencic has beaten Jabir twice in the past. But one match was really, really close. And the other one was close as well. And then uh, Jabir retired. So I don't I think the scoring system in tennis can be really brutal. 
And um, and that's shown by the head-to-head. -head. It looks like it's a 2-0 to Bencic, but both those matches were really close. And um, that wouldn't give me a lot of confidence in putting my money on Bencic in this one. And actually, she's only a 55% win predictor, so I think that's borne out. Do, 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 do. Uh, John C., who am I picking? Well, I mean, <laughs> Jabur's already 4-1 up, but my heart would say Jabur, so I'd like to see Jabur win. Really interesting character. Great to see a player from, from the Arab world doing well. And um, and she's not without controversy in the Arab world because uh, I think as a Tunisian, she was asked not to play an Israeli opponent once and she refused. She she um, didn't discriminate against who she was playing against. So, you know, good for her. But it's, um, you know, it can be a challenge when you've got a policy of the country that you're going to have to go against. So, Jabur for me. 45 minutes from Jerusalem. Supersonic. That could be just about anywhere in the country, right? Right, here we go. Jabur trying to consolidate her 4-1 lead. Serves down the middle. Desperate backhand from Bencic. Jabur comes in. Drive volleys it. Call as he likes to the forehand. So... I've talked about the serve out wide being really effective for players moving the opponent off the court, but the serve down the middle is really effective as well. Um, so you get it onto the player's backhand. They can't really hit anything too effective back to you. Puts you in control of the point. But Jabur, 15 love up, second serve. Serves to the body. Bencic gets a great backhand out wide. Jabur can't really slice it back into play. 15 all. Now... Has Bencic checked out of this set or is she going to make a fight of it? One break back, she can get right back into this. 15 all. Jabur serving. Try, Bencic tries to do a little chip return. It's just not enough. And I'm afraid at this point, I will be saying that Jabur takes this set. Bencic has to up her game a level. We want to see the Olympic champion making a fist out of this. Jabur serves, 30-15, out wide. Double-handed backhand return from Bencic just goes too long. She's just not got her range right today. Jabur, 40-15. Not really being troubled on her serve at all. Serves out wide. Bencic again hits the return out. It's just, it's just a little bit too wild on the first serve return. And it just feels a little bit like a sort of head's gone. She checked out. If you were talking about a football match, five minutes to half time, you'd just be wanting to get to half time and regroup. So she's uh, 5 1 down now, Bencic, serving. Doesn't want to lose this and let Jabur be serving for the, um, for the next set, does she? We're at the business end. I don't want to play the business end um, jingle now because I'm going to miss the match. But Bencic serving at 5 1 down. Serves out wide. So beautiful serve out wide. Got Jabur on the run. From side to side. Comes into the net, but Jabur hits it in the net. So Bencic, 15 love up. I think she's been up in all of her service games so far this set, but just hasn't been able to, uh, to close it out. Must be really tricky playing a player like Jabur, who's just got so much variety to her game. 15 love. Serves to the body, chip back from Jabur, trying to keep Jabur in the backhand side. Jabur drop shots it, perfect drop shot. Really high drop shot. Don't think that matters too much if you're really close to the net, you've got loads of spin on it. 15 all. So yeah, I was saying, I think it's hard to play players like Jabur because they're not that common. You're used to the baseliners. Suddenly you come across someone with a bit more variety of the game. Just not used to it. You don't know what the tactics are. Beautiful, beautiful drop shot from Jabur. Soft hands, fantastic. Right, 15 all. Benchit serves, hits the net, goes out. I think that's a good prediction there, May. Second serve to the body. Benchich, a bit of a driving, a bit of a jumping backhand there, but hits it in the net.
We need to hear more about this injury, Lexi. Sounds sounds a little bit intriguing. Benchic serves to the Jabur forehand. Jabur punishes that with a inside out forehand down the line. 30 all. It's really struggled on a serve this match, Benchic. Thirty all. Bench it serving. Serves out wide. Great return from Jabur on the forehand. Brilliant serve plus one from Benchic. So brilliant wide serve from Benchic. Jabur manages to get it back, but Benchic hits a serve plus one right to the backhand side. It's just too much ground for Jabur to cover. Perfect, perfect execution. So Benchic's first serve percentage is actually pretty good, but she's not winning enough points on that first serve. She's getting enough of them in, 68%, but only winning 52%. 40 30 to Benchic, serves out wide, hits it back to the Jabur backhand, doesn't do a good enough job on trying to do the drop shot. Benchic comes to the net. Guess what? Another point one by the player who's come to the net. It's 5 2. It's 5 2. Changing over. Where are we? Here we are. <laughs> I love those jingles. They do, don't they do a great job in these jingles? Is there one jingle we're missing though? We got a jingle for everything. Is there another jingle we need? Is there a special event in a tennis match that we need a jingle for? Is there a special event? We got Ben in here, so I think JG's probably having a bit of a lay in today. Maybe we should get JG on the jingles. Let us know in the chat if there is a jingle we are missing, please. Bill. Andrescu is on the march, isn't she? She is on the march. Is she coming back? She's had some um, mental health issues. I think that it's quite challenging for these ladies to suddenly get thrust into the spotlight with some success and all the pressure that comes with social media and comments from um, you know comments from people when they lose. It's a lot of pressure on them. Um, so great to see Andrescu coming back. She had a protected ranking for a, for a while, I think, but she's coming back and hopefully making some inroads onto the scene. Hmm, so 5-2. It's looking like it's Jabur's set now. She'll be serving for it, and then um, hopefully Benchic can regroup. Hopefully Benchic can regroup and come out, start serving for the second set. I wonder if we'll have any sort of timeout at the changeover. Let's see. Let me know if there's a jingle we need. Let me know if there's a jingle we haven't got. Right, Jabur's serving. Serves out wide. Great return from Benchic. Great return. Just far enough away from Jabur that she couldn't get anything on it. Love 15. Love 15. Jabur serving. Hmm, where's it going? Down the middle. Gets Benchic on the stretch. So, clever serve. Serve down the middle. Got Benchic on the set, on the, bleh, on the stretch. All she could do was chip it back mid-court. Jabur couldn't take advantage of it. It's now love 30. Wonder if this little bit of butterflies in the Jabur's tummy as she's trying to serve out for the match serves out wide chip back from Benchic back to the forehand side from Jabur forehand trading down the middle of the court now Jabur push wide Benchic goes straight back to her trading down the middle of the court Benchic uh, Jabur hits into empty space so I think Benchic had the advantage there but hit straight back to Jabur led her back into the court ben uh, and then the tables turned Jabur hit into a bit of space now 15-30 she needed that. It could easily have been love 40. 15-30, Jabur serving. Serves to the body. Backhand return. Got Jabur right down on her, on her knees. Looked like a bit of an Angie Kerber shot there. Right down on her knees. Couldn't get it back in. It's 15-40. 15-40. God, what was I talking about? Benchich checked out. 15-40. Jabur tries to serve down the middle. Hits the net. Goes long. Benchic needs to attack now, take this game. Suddenly it puts a different complexion on this first set. Serve down the middle again, backhand return. They're trading down the middle of the court. Tries to get Ben, tries to, ugh. Benchic tries to get Jabur out wide. Hits it too long. Needs to calm down, relax. 
get a look at a second serve and then take that opportunity both ladies serving well in terms of percentages 64 70 percent Jabir first serve a little bit long this is the opportunity don't go too crazy but try and move your opponent on play with the return Jabir serves Bencic tries to move her now they cross court Jabir on the backhand Ah, oh, so it was brilliant play from Jabir. I think that um, Benchich did everything right trying to move Jabir, but Jabir's movement was pretty good there, and she moved Benchich into space. And now you can see Benchich a little bit frustrated with her her coach. Who would be a coach <laughs> of one of these players? They seem to get it in the air all the time. Juice back to Juice. Jabir serves down the middle. Lovely, beautiful serve down the middle. Benchich couldn't even move. Right, Josip, love it. Jabir serves out wide, ace, advantage, ace. Boom, 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 boom. What have we got? What have we got? It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Aunt Jabir. See, I know JG's having a bit of a lay in, I think, but I wonder if his secretary is taking some notes on these. So we want a racket smash jingle. We want a racket smash jingle. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, racket smash. A player meltdown jingle. Yeah, I've heard about these crushes. I've heard about these crushes. Haven't seen it in person, but heard about these crushes. So they're having a bit of a changeover now. Is anyone having a anyone having a bit of a toilet break or a equipment change break? Who knows? Right. So, well, Jabir took the first set, and um, it looked like there was a bit of a fight back from Benchich there. But otherwise, I can't really see her getting back into this. Something needs to change. Something needs to change. What do you think it is? If you were Benchich's coach now and you had the chance to talk to her, so imagine it was a lower-ranked event, you had the chance, what would you be telling Belinda she needs to do? What would you be saying to Belinda she needs to do? We've got some real experts, some tennis aficionados amongst the audience, so you tell us what do we need to do. A medical timeout jingle. Medical timeout jingle. I like that one. Medical timeout jingle. Emma's button, her shorts are so great. Well, May, you're going to have to tell us. How, how can we tell who Ben's got a crush on? How can we tell? How can we tell? I've looked at some of the videos. I think he's got a bit of a crush on Alcares, actually. But how can you tell who he's got a crush on? Is it that obvious? Is it that obvious? So if you remember the great Boris Becker, when he was serving, he used to stick his tongue out to the side of which place he was going to serve to. So Andre Agassi spotted this. And Becker was talking to Agassi one day saying, how can you, how, how do you know where I'm serving to? And he wouldn't tell him. But once they retired, <laughs> once he didn't have to play him anymore, he told him that he had this little tell, this little signal where his tongue went as to where they went. So... We want to know what the tell is for Ben. Who has Ben got a crush on? Mate, you need to tell us because it's not obvious for us. So Jabir's ready to go. Do, 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 do. Ben Chich, I think she's off court having a little breather, trying to re regroup herself. So, 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 well, mate, what, what is this? I think Ben likes 
he like he doesn't like Naomi. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Right, so you got a chance to talk to Blinda. Got to get a rack together for the second set. What do you tell her what to do? Just one thing. What is your advice for Belinda? We can't guarantee we'll let her know, but what is your advice for Belinda? How does she turn this around? Mm hmm. Ooh, Bill. That is cool, Bill. I've got to hide that. Can't have that on the screen. God. Here she comes, trying to regroup. What do you tell... You've got 30 seconds to tell Belinda. What does she need to do? What does Belinda need to do to turn this around? Ben, your secret's out. Supersonic, he's our Mossad agent in Israel. <laughs> he's found out you love Bedosa. I, you know, I think she is aggressive, Ben. I think she is aggressive. I think she just, that last game, she just overhit a couple. Just needs to calm down a little bit. But here we go. Second set. Benji serves out wide. Jabur on the stretch. Now she's back in the game. Oh, I thought she was back in the game. Really had Jabur on the stretch. Then hits it to Oh, pardon me, to the Jabur backhand. Jabur gets across the court, but just couldn't keep it in play. 15 love for Benchich. She really needs to hold this serve here, Benchich. Really needs to take a lead in this second set. Here she goes. First serve, out wide, double-handed return, long again. That's 30 love. Slow it down. Take it point by point. Cliches, I know. Hold the serve. Serve it easy, Cirilla. Serving easy, get goes first serves in. Her first serve percentage is creeping up. Hits it to the, yeah, so serve down the middle. Got a relatively short return back and then hits it to the bench, uh, to the Jabur backhand. She's 40 love up. She's 40 love up. Forty love up, bench it serving. Carl, this will settle the nerves. Serves down the middle. Jabur returns relatively short. They're trading down the middle of the court. Jabur comes in. Ah, oh, I was hoping that was going to be a game to love. But Jabur was really aggressive on the returns there. Stole a little bit of real estate in the court. Came into about half court. Whacked it into the backhand corner whilst Benchich went the other way. 40-15. Benchich needs to take this point and not make her service games complicated. Serves out wide to Jabur. Jabur, great stretch to get to it, but just overcooks it a little bit long. One game to love to Benchich. Looks calm, looks collected. Gets a nose ahead in the second set. Hmm, needs to get aggressive. Yeah, let's have a look through these. Needs ons to make the final for my bracket. What is your bracket, Bill? What is this bracket you're telling us about? Tell us more. Right, Jabur serving. Hits the net, drops in, let. That's another go. What a strange sport tennis can be, letting you have another go, eh? Here we go. Hmm. So it's to the body, backhand return, hits it to the Bentich backhand, backhand to backhand. But Bentich's shot goes a little bit out. Yeah, so what, it's really strange. I think tennis is the only sport I can think of where they allow you two goes at a shot, two goes at a serve. And not only that, if you don't quite do it right, you hit the net, you get another go. Serve to the Bencic forehand, tries to hit it 
down the line inside out, hits the net. She's just not clicking today, Benchic. 30 love to Jabur. 30 love to Jabur. Jabur nets. I think she's going down the middle. 30 love up. Second serve. Great second serve wide to the Benchic forehand. Does a little drop shot. So brilliant serve wide to the Benchic forehand. Drop shots it by the net to the Benchic backhand. Benchic makes it all the way in, but leaves a whole empty court for Jabur. Brilliant variety from Jabur. Horrible to play against. 40 love up. What have we got here? Serves out wide. Benchic manages to get the return in. And we are denied another game to love jingle. Joseph, I'm sorry. That champagne, we can't uncork it just yet, pal. Benchic attempts, uh, Jabur attempts to serve down the middle. I think she got it down the middle. And it is game to uh, Jabur. Makes it one all. Different looking set this time. First set, Jabur took the lead. Benchic was always chasing. Now it's a little bit different. Now Benchic has the chance to take the lead back. Her problem has been not capitalising on a serve and just overcooking some shots. So she had a strong service game last time. What has Belinda got this time? Serves to the body. Hits it back to the forehand. Thought that was a good looking serve. But it's been pulled up. Second serve. Second serve. Serves to the backhand. They're trading backhands. Jabur in the backhand corner slices it. Benchic trying to get the power. Now Jabur unloads with a forehand. It's really tough to play against these slices because you have to generate all the power. And Benchic just wasn't able to generate the power. Drops it a little bit short. Jabur takes advantage of it. Hits it into the other corner. Jabur love 15 up. Benchic just been under pressure the whole match here. Very tough. Love 15, Benchic serving. Serves to the body. Jabur whacks a forehand return. They're both moving all over the court, backhands to backhands. Jabur now forehand to forehand. Jabur in the backhand corner, tries to drop shot. And again, that is, that is three drop shots she's executed now. It's just, it's really high. You can see it's coming, but you just can't move on this surface to get to it. So Benchic moved a couple of steps and then didn't even try anymore. Just no way she was going to get to it. She's now love 30. Very disheartening when this is happening on your serve. Serves out wide. Jabur can't get to it that time. Well, she gets to it, but net sets. 15.30. Need to get the breathing right. Calm down. Breathe deep, relax, know what your plan is. Execute the plan. Benchich, what's your plan now, Belinda? What is your plan? Serves out wide. Not quite an ace. Fine lines, second serve. Will Jabur punish this? No, couldn't get the second serve, hit the net, goes long. It's now 15.40. 15.40. Real pressure. Real pressure. Come on, Benchic. Needs a first serve here. It's a little bit blustery out there. Needs a first serve. Serves out wide, chips it back from Jabur. Benchic at the net. Beautiful. Beautiful. So great wide serve. Uh, Jabur chipped it back in cross court. Bencic came all the way into the net and just hit a beautiful angled shot back across the net. No way Jabur was going to get to that. It's the only shot she could really do. But Jabur hadn't read it. But she's still break point down 30 40. 30 40. 
serves down the tee, high shot back from Jabur, Bencic at the net, smash, juice, brilliant. That's what that serve down the middle gets you. A short return puts you in control of the point. Cool as you like. So suddenly she's achieved parity, juice, and she's got the chance to get on top again. Come on, Belinda. First serve here. Down the middle. Backhand return. Hits the tape. Jabur comes in inside out forehand. They're trading in the middle of the... Oh! Jabur hits the net. So she'd got a little bit of luck, but then was unlucky, hit the net. Advantage Benchich. You'll take these points however you get them, right? You'll take them however you get them. You put your hand up and say sorry, but you'll take these points. Serving to hold her serve. Sit down, catch a breath. Desperately needs this. Desperately needs to keep her nose in front. Come on, Belinda. Tries to serve down the middle. Hits the net. Second serve. Jabur will be all over this. Belinda has to get her feet moving to get the return that's going to come back. To the backhand. Returns back. Short. Ah, short. She had a chance. But Belinda hits it in the net. Back to juice. It's real pressure. It's really disheartening. The scoring system is brutal. All these points, all these play, all these shots. And then just one person gets the, the game at the end of it. All your efforts are for nothing, really. Come on, Belinda. Serves out wide. Chip back right at Benchich's feet. Jabur slices the backhand to Benchich. You just can't do anything with it. So Jabur puts a, a hand up, but it's horrible for Benchit. She's she's in charge of the point. She's doing all she can, but she's not getting a lot of luck. And her feet, her footwork is letting her down a little bit. Just not quite positioning herself nicely. And I think that last shot just kicked off the tape. It was horrible. Advantage Jabur. Break point Jabur. Benchit serves. Thought it was on the line, but I think it was a little bit long. Advantage, Jabur, second serve. Pressure to the forehand of Jabur. They're trading forehands. Cross court, cross court, forehands. Someone's going to change direction in a minute. Benchich did it. Now backhand down the line from Benchich. Jabur is defensive. Jabur coming in. Chips a little ball up. Benchich whacks it. Just wide of Jabur. So very brave play. Very brave play. Well done, Bench. It's so easy to overcook that. Back to juice. Very nervy play. So it's a clever little chip from Jabur to try and change things for Benchich, I think, expecting Benchich to make a mistake, but Benchich didn't. She was solid, rock solid. Juice. Benchich, early in the second set, desperately trying to hold on to her serve. Serves down the middle. Jabur backhand. Finds the corner. Moon ball from Benchich. Trading in the middle of the court. Drop shot from Jabur. A drop shot from Jabur <laughs> that landed in her own service box. So that one didn't work. So I think she's had three successful ones and one we'd like to forget about. Advantage Benchich. As she attempts to hold on to a serve. Advantage Benchich. So I think there was a double bounce there. How would I play against Ons? That's a that's a that's a great question. <laughs> Let me come back to that at the changeover. I'll come back to that at the changeover, Joseph. I'll come back to that changeover. Juice. Bench is serving at juice, fourth juice. Serves out wide. So Jabur's got the measure of these wide serves and does quite a nice, deep cross-court return for them. Here's the second serve. What has she got on this one? 
um, kind of wasn't quite wide enough. Injabur's hitting zone, tries to hit it over the highest part of the net, fails. Advantage Bencic. Advantage Bencic. So a points one on Bencic's first server creeping up. She needs a first serve. Get the first serve in, you've got a good chance of winning it. But she doesn't get the first serve in, and she's only won 31% of her second serve points. So this could go back to juice if she's not careful. Gets it into the... Yeah, gets it into the Jabur backhand. Jabur cannot take advantage of that. Well done, Belinda. Very nervy trying to hold on to that. But she did it. Well done. 2-1 keeps her nose in front. How would I play against Jabur? So I, I think the advice against a player like this is you don't want to give them a chance to set up. So she loves to do drop shots, chips, stuff like that. But generally doing that stuff, you need to you need to be well positioned to do it. Don't give her the chance to do it. Keep her on the move. Very hard to execute drop shots when you're on the move. So if you don't want to face a drop shot, um, keep the player moving a bit more. I don't think Belinda's doing enough um, to keep Angebur moving. Joseph, does that make sense? Was it Joseph who asked that? That's what I'd be doing. So my son's quite a good level player. He plays a, a kid who drop shots him all the time. And uh, the, the, the advice to my son was just don't allow the player to get in the position to drop shot you. Keep him moving all the time and know that when he's um, static and comfortable and the ball's coming to him, then you'd be expecting the drop shot. Didn't always work, but when he started doing that, he started to, to um, win games against him that he wasn't winning. So, And the other kid didn't like it, hated it. Time for a quick drink of water. 2-1. Pressure not really on Jabur, but Bencic hasn't come to... I think um, there was one Jabur service game towards the end of the first set where she was 15-40 up. Bencic was 15-40 up on her serve. Couldn't take advantage of it. She needs to start putting a bit of pressure on the Jabur serve. Otherwise... Yeah, sit down, sit down. It's always a late comer. Sit down. Jabur serves down the middle, doesn't quite get it in. Second serve. Bencic has to make more of these second serves. That's that must have been a let because that one was in the net. So here's the second serve. Yeah, very aggressive from Bencic. Pressure with the backhand. So that's much better. Much better aggressive returning. Double-handed backhand from Bencic, really putting pressure on Jabur. And that was what she wasn't doing well in the first set. She was overcooking those shots. So this is much better. Love 15. Love 15. Bill, that is a great tactic as well. Serve and volley, great tactic as well. Joseph, sir, you are very welcome. Thank you for asking. So where are we? We're 15 all. So Jabur's won a point to get parity. Second serves. Bencic defensive. Jabur coming into the court. Whips it into the cross courts. The forehand while Bencic was moving the other way. Wins the point 30-15. Does anyone think that this um, chair umpire looks like uh, Anna Rivanovich. She looks like Anna Rivanovich. I thought it was her for a second. Right, where are we? 30-15 to Anjabur. Bencic has to start putting some pressure on here. First serve, yeah. Really aggressive backhand return. Chips it back now from Bencic. Jabur comes in, tried to slice it. Hits it in the net, 30 all. And all of that stemmed from the really aggressive return from Bencic. She didn't allow Jabur to play her game. She tried to do her shots, but she just wasn't in the right position. 
because of the aggressiveness and bench. It's 30 all. Jabur serving. Hits it in the net. Hmm. Second serve. Goes down the middle. Backhand return from Bencic. They're trading at the baseline now. Backhand to backhand. And Jabur hits it a little bit long. Thought that was a little bit long. It is. And it's break point to Bencic. Yeah, Anna Ivanovic in the chair. I swear. Hmm. What have we got here? Break points. Look like a good serve. Benchich is checking the mark. Look like a good serve, though. It's, I think it is a good serve. Yeah, I think it is a good serve. And so, what was it long? That was a good serve. It's juice. Jabur serving at juice. Hits the net again. First serve percentage is dropping. Not getting these first serves in. Second serve, I think, was a little bit long. Wasn't quite sure. Yeah, it was a little bit long. Double fault. Advantage Bencic. Yeah. Jabur's first serve percentage dropping. She wins a lot of the first serve she gets in, but she's just not getting enough of them in now. I think her first serve percentage one is 81%, but she's not getting enough first serves in. Gets one in there. Bencic returns. Bencic chips it back in from the back of the court. What happened there? Couldn't quite see what happened there. But Jabur won the point. So she wins four out of five points when she gets her first serve in. She's just not getting so many of them in at the moment. First serve in. Bencic hits it wide. Very tough. She's had the break point. She just can't convert them. Bencic has had the break points here, just can't convert them. Jabur serves out wide. Second serve, she only wins about 40% of these second serves. So here is Bencic's chance. Second serve, aggressive return from Bencic at the feet of Jabur. Bencic taking control. Yes, well left. This is what Benchic needs to do more of, be really aggressive on these second serve returns. When she hits them at the feet of Jabur, she tends to get a result, the same way as when Jabur aggressively hits them back to the feet of Benchic, she tends to get a result. We're back on juice. Jabur serving. Serves out wide, chip back from Benchic. Jabur comes into the court, Benchic lobs. Jabur running back, it's in. Jabur tries to hit it. Little drop shot back from Bencic, just not good enough. Bencic lobs again. Oh dear, just wasn't good enough, that little drop shot from Bencic. She should have kept her at the back of the court. She knows she made a mistake there. She had that point in the bag. She had Jabur running from back to front. And she gave it to her. And we, don't we see this at club level all the time? People trying to do clever little drop shots at the net and they overcook it. Gives the opponent a chance. Don't do it. Put the ball away. Advantage of Burr. Advantage of Burr. She's serving to level it here. She's serving to level. She's serving to level it. There she is. Anna Ivanovic in the chair. Jabur, advantage, serving for the game. First serve in the net. Second serve. Wins about one in three second serve points. It's in. Aggressive return. Backhand to backhand trading. Little slice from Jabur. Aggressive from Bencic. Wins the point. Wins the point. Juice. Yeah, so Jabur only winning about one in three of her second service points. So she wins about four out of five first service points. She just needs to get the first serve in. Otherwise, my money's on Bencic. First serve hits the net. So my money here will be on Bencic. Are we going to see an aggressive return to the feet of Jabur? Aggressive return to the backhand. Aggressive moves Jabur. 
back end to bench it's forehand now it's forehand to forehand trading and Jabur hits it long and I'm sure that is a direct result of the aggressive return from Bencic. Bencic gets another advantage. Third break point in this game. Has to take it. Has to take it. Again, to Burnett's. This is the second serve. Remember, two out of three, she loses. She's had two, she's lost. Here's the third. Aggressive return from Bencic. Chipped back from Jabur. Too long. Wow. Bencic breaks her. Fantastic. Great. So if anyone had plans for lunch in about half an hour, <laughs> probably want to put them on hold because Bencic has taken the initiative in this second set. She's 3-1 up. Is she going to consolidate and hold onto her serve now? Oh, right. Bencic serving, cleaning the line a little bit, cleaning the line a little bit. Serving to try and consolidate. Boom, hits it in the net. Second serve coming up. It's in, back in return for Jabur, hits it in the net which is good for Bencic because she's not got a great record in terms of uh, percentage of points won on the second serve. But, cool, we're about an hour into this now, are we? So, um, nice time to maybe ask, if you're enjoying it, why not give the YouTube channel a like? Why not give us a like? Let people know that you're enjoying what we're doing. So, if you can, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the tennis with us here. Second serve for Bencic, 15 love up. Backhand return from Jabur, hitting it in the net. And she's lost her mojo at the moment, Jabur. She's lost her mojo. 30 love up to Bencic. Cruising through this game. You know, I haven't had a drink through this game. I'm waiting for some of our game to love champagne. First serves a let. She gets another chance. Wouldn't it be great if everything in life let you add another chance? Boom, first serve in, takes control, hits it to the Jabur backhand, now hits it to the Jabur forehand. I think Jabur got her steps in for the day in those two shots, just pinged from side to side, Bencic completely in control, and it just feels like the momentum has changed a little bit. Something's changed. Jabur slightly off the boil. Bencic's got the break. 40 love up. Oh, dear Joseph. We are putting that champagne back. I, sh I shouldn't mention it, should I? I shouldn't mention the chance of a game to love. But it looked like a good surf from Bencic, but Jabur just swatted it away. Forehand down the line. Can't move on this surface. Bencic, 40-15 up. Calm down, relax. Keep doing what you're doing. You'll win this game. Serves out wide. Jabur chips it back. Can't chip it over the net. Bencic wins the game. Car, we haven't heard Belinda much. Gonna knock you out, gonna make you want to quit. Baddest girl about, gonna make you submit. Let go around her neck, prove she's legit. Belinda Bencic. Oh, so we got we need some we asked I asked a bit earlier about jingles so we got a racket smash jingle a medical timeout jingle do you think we should have a jingle for Ben's favorite player should we have a Ben's favorite player jingle that we can play I think we should have a Ben's favorite player jingle we should have it sung by JG what do you reckon we should have JG sing that oh have we got any likes on the YouTube channel have we got any likes tell me that I'm doing okay I hope I'm doing okay hope you're enjoying it Thank you for sticking with us all this time. So you think she's still going down, Lexi? Think that Benchit's still going to win it? 
Spurs thinking now. She's lost her mojo, really lost her mojo that last game. And suddenly, you know, that break gets consolidated and the lead, you know, it's 4-1. It looks bigger than it is. It's it's just a break. But um, but Jabir got a little bit of thinking to do. And that's a great idea. I wish more players played doubles. We were talking about this the other day in the uh, coach form about the British women needing to play more doubles. And we have got a couple of great British women who are successful at the doubles at the moment. But they're just not high enough ranked to get into all the tournaments. Jabur serves into the net. 33% of her second serve points won. So what she got here gets it in. Aggressive return on the backhand from Bencic. Bencic. Yeah, so that was two nice backhands in a row where she's not overcooking it now. So whereas Jabur could rely on some cheap points before, she can't now. Bencic's returns nice and deep at the feet. Love 15 down. First serve in. Aggressive Bencic return to the backhand. But Jabur hits it to the forehand side. So that's a classic serve combination. Serve out wide, get the return back, and then your serve plus one. The first shot after your serve, you hit to the other corner. So this is a classic drill we practice a lot with the players. Getting them to serve to a particular point and then feeding a ball back that they can hit back to the other side. Jabur's turned it round, 30-15. She's got a mojo back now, baby. She's got a mojo back. Serving at 30-15, gets it in. Forehand to forehand. Did she hit that one a bit long? I think she hit that one a little bit long. 30 all. 30 all. Wants to hold on to this here. Make, make Bencic have to fight for it. Bencic chips it back. Looks like it right on the line. Jabur was right in the middle of the court. Return to come right back on the line. And then she just swatted it to the other side. So... Very powerful player. She's got a great touch, but also really powerful as well. 40-30, Jabur. Serves down the middle. Looks like an ace there. Looks like an ace. Yep, it's an ace. Takes it to 4-2. So Bencic ahead. Needs to kind of keep ahead. Doesn't want to let Jabur back into this and have the momentum swing at this part of the match. But I would say right now, I think we're going to a third set. I think we're going to a third set. Benji serves out wide. Jabir tries to hit a deep return to the forehand corner, overcooks it, talking to herself. Benji 15 love up. Benji 15 love up. You're asking us, Islam, as if we know. We don't know. It's a brilliant match so far. Very intriguing. 15 love up. I think the Benchich serve looked good. The Jabur return was a little bit too long. So whereas Benchich was hitting her returns a little bit too long before, it's Jabur hitting them a little bit too long now. 30 love Benchich. Inching towards a 5-2 lead. Good first serve to the Jabur backhand. Bencic comes in and attacks. She's at the net. Cushioning a volley. Having a run back for a smash. It's on the line. Oh, my God. Did a backhand overhead. Jabur in control. Tries to drop shot it. Overcooks it. Completely in control there. She had Bencic in all sorts of problems. You might, have been, might as well have been watching gymnastics there. Bencic trying to run back. Return a lob on the backhand side. Jabur completely in control, went for a drop shot, hit it wide. It's 40 love. It's 40 love. You want to go to sleep, Josip? I know that feeling when it's on at some funky hour of the day for us. But what do we got here? Oh, long one out. That was a lamb shank. Where's a lamb shank video when you need it, eh? <laughs> Bencic, second serve, 40 love. Jabur, aggressive return, backhand to backhand. Jabur. 
Oh, Benchich overcooks it. Benchich overcooks it. 40-15. I still think she's got this game. Keep cool. Keep doing what you're doing. Get a first serve in. You get your first serve in, two-thirds of the time you win the point. Get your first serve in, Benchich. Two-thirds of the time you win the point. These coaches always a bit stubbly, always bending down, always with hats on. Serve out wide. Hits it to the other corner. Classic tactic. Wins the point. Benchich, well done. 5 2. <laughs> You know what? I don't think we've gone to the Game to Love wine cellar at all today yet. So uh, normally we have some Game to Love, some Game to Love jingles, some Game to Love champagne. We haven't had any Game to Love champagne so far. Hmm. I would say, Joseph, it's uh, the women's game. The beauty of the women's game today is any woman out there can pretty much beat any woman. It's really unpredictable. It's really exciting to watch. Um, I'm not sure that Benchich has got it in her consistency-wise to win, you know, seven matches in a row. I think that's a really, a really tough thing to do. Um, but the difference between the women's game and the men's game is that the, the women are playing best of three sets all the time. The men aren't playing best of five sets all the time. So that's why it favours the, the men who are used to playing these five set matches. The guys at the top seem to have a bit of a stranglehold on it. The women's game, much more exciting. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't have bench it's down as someone who can keep it consistently together for seven matches, I'm afraid. So could win a Masters. I don't think she would win a major though. Sorry. That's what we like. Hard, <laughs> hardcore tennis fan. Come on, Joseph. Stay up a little bit longer. Jabur serving to stay in the match. Benchich a bit more aggressive on stuff. I don't know what happened with that, but it... <laughs> Jabur, 15 love up. On a serve. Serving to stay in the set. Serving to stay in the set and make bench it, serve it out. Serves it out wide. It was a little bit wide. Second serve coming up. Benchich wants the break here and then be serving for the second set. She's hugely aggressive on the return. Jabur moving Benchich all over the court. Gets it in. I think Benchich couldn't quite get to it. Jabur 30 love up. Lovely play. Lovely play from Jabur. Let's go 30 love up. I think there was an ace there, another ace. Six aces to Jabur, one to Benchich. 40 love up. Serves. Benchich hits it long. Did she hit it long? Yes, she hit it. Great. JG comes up with some champagne for us. Thanks, JG. Oh, enjoyed that. Josip, cheers, pal. It's not champagne for me. It's just water. That's all I get. Oh, could be an X file there. You go to sleep, the player you like wins. Hmm. That sounds like an excuse for going to sleep to me. 
Bencic serving for the set at 5-3. Nets the first serve. This is where we see a bit of nerves come in, even for the best of us. Second serve, great. Takes control of the point. They're trading down the middle now, though. Tries to get Jabur out wide. Now tries to hit down the line. Jabur on the backhand. Bencic on the backhand. Was that a little bit long? Was that a little bit long? Hmm. So Bencic, 15 love. 15 love. Must have been a little bit long for Jabur. 15 love. That settles the nerves. There's the coaches. The classic coach pose. Having a look. Hmm. 15 love. Serves down the middle. Trading down the middle. Bencic tries to change direction. Take Jabur out to the backhand. Overcooks it. 15 all. It's hard to change direction. This shot's coming to you at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, and you've got to slightly change the angle of the racket, and just a few degrees difference can mean a few yards difference in the ball. Very hard to change direction. 15 all. Benchit serving to take the set. Serves out wide. Jabur chips it back. Mid-court. Benchit kind of stuck in no man's land. Jabur slicing. Benchich trying to get power on it. Benchich hits down the line. Benchich still in the point. Oh, dear. She got kind of... Benchich just got stuck between the service line and the baseline. Really the wrong place to be. Couldn't really do anything with it. Jabur then starts taking control. Moves Benchich all over the court. Benchich did an amazing forehand when pushed out wide to hit it down the line. But Jabur was in control. And with this soft hand she's got and the touch... She can make you dance on that court. Benchich, 15.30 down. Needs to calm the nerves. Gets the first serve in. Jabur chips it back. Benchich aggressive on the backhand. Benchich aggressive on the backhand. Jabur is slicing the backhand. It's moving everywhere. Car Benchich was in control. Jabur takes all the pace out of it with the slice. And Benchich just doesn't really know what to do. Just didn't really know what to do. And just watched as Jabur took her apart with her, her slice. And then hit down the line. 1540 hmm. here. 1540 here. Benchit serves out wide. Jabur chips. Benchit tries to hit it back behind her. Now hits it to the backhand. Jabur slice didn't work this time. Hits it a little bit long. 30-40. It's a lot to come back from. 15-40 down. But she's achieved the first point out of two needed to bring it back to parity. So, bench it serving. 30-40 down to try and take this second set. So, to the body a little bit. Really, it was the forehand, but Jabur hits it long. Juice. Now she gets a little breather. Now she gets a little breather. Catch her breath. Let's get a first serve in. First serve was a little bit long. Points one on the second serve for Benchic is creeping up as well. All her stats are creeping up. She's hitting form. Second serve. Pushes uh, Jabur out wide. Jabur gets to it, but hits it in the net. And it was, pardon me, only about halfway up the net. She's um needs to be getting more height on those. Get them cross court. Advantage Benchich to take the set. Advantage Benchich to take the set. Advantage Benchich to take the set. Nice to serve down the middle, a little bit wide. She takes the set. Jabur will be serving for the third set if she takes this. Kick serve in. Jabur in all sorts of problems on the backhand. Benchich takes it. She's legit. 
Oh, one set all. Right, I'm going to go down and get a quick coffee. So if you don't mind, I am going to take a break and I'll be back with you in a second. And let's see what we got in the chat. If you've got any questions for me, stick them in that chat. I'll be back. What are you drinking? <laughs> yeah, what, what is that? Oh, coconut. Nice. I thought it was a like a pina colada or something. <laughs> I want Karatsev to do well. Can Medvedev win it? I think so. The winner for me, Naomi Osaka. I think she's going to yeah. start the year with a bang. He's and a then there, Aslan breaks. Well, Alex but... can't believe it. Oh my God. Djokovic into his ninth Australian Open final. Where's it's gone for the love. Been... He's got a smash. And He's got it. What a bitch. 18 Grand Slams from Novak Djokovic. He wins his ninth Australian Open title. Down the line. Oh. Look at that! That is top right lister. Novak Djokovic has set a new world record. The return of Roger Federer. He misses it! Herkes! Herkes has got it! Come on, sir! He's gone four and he's a a winner! Good! Rublev wins it! Hey, ole, ole, ole. (laughs) Stick to your your Russian flag. It's wide! It's wide! Everyone else wins it! Aslan hitting it so hard, he's in! It's there! He's got the first set! Come on! What a volley! What a volley from Sitterpass! No! Oh, it's a double fault! I've jinxed it! I knew it was going to happen! Where else has he saved it? They're talking about... Gail Falkenberg. Favourable treatment here for Rafa no, it's Nadal. Not. It's not. Win this. And it's wide and Rafa wins it! Come on! Yes! It's number 58. Rafa's missed the oh, volley! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. oh you naughty Fresh boy! Up. He silences the crowd. He puts his hand to his ear. There I'm we go. Come on! Rajakova wins the Roland Garros 2021. Yeah. Oh dear. God. Those boys, Ben and JG, they must have a few coffees each before they do that stuff. They're so energetic. Right. We're coming to the third set. What's going on here? Looks like we've got a little bit of a little bit of rain going on. What's going on? Yeah, I think the weather's uh, the rain in Spain is falling mainly on the tennis court at the moment. What's going on? Anna Ivanovic gets down off her chair. She's having a little look around. Hmm. Yeah. Son of Robin Records, you speak sense. Yes, let's hit the like button. We've got a little break in play. Can we get some more likes? How many likes have we got? Yay, 51 likes. Can we get to 100 likes? Can we get to 100 likes? Let's have a look through the questions. Tommy is hot. I found a hottie. Is this Tommy Paul, May? I never quite trust someone who's got two first names for a name. Never quite. A good guy, Stephanos. God. All this objectifying of the male players. (laughs) Hit the like button. That's what we want. Hit the like button. So, Lexi, who are the top five main men? Who are the top five main men? Roof is closing. We've got a bit of rain. A lot of people have messaged in. They want to know who Rexy's top five main men in. We've got a message here from R. Federer. Am I on Lexi's list? Lexi, we need to know the list of your top five men. God, how long does this roof take to close? Could take a while, but why have we got rain in Spain? Rain in Spain. So I would like, I'd be, this is my second um, commentary. I'd like to know what it is 
that you like about the Game to Love commentaries? What is it that makes you come here for the commentary? I've watched a couple of them. I thought they're really fun. I love the little videos and the chat and the banter. But what is it? It's like a real Game to Love community. What is it? There goes the bed sheet over the court. What is it about the Game to Love watch-along commentaries that you like so much? What is it? If you're trying to explain it to someone at a pub, what is it that you like about it? So let's have a look at these. The hot guy is Stephanos. The hot guy is Stephanos. There's this is kind of, I'm saying it with a bit of stubble myself, but there's this is kind of stubble, this kind of hairy stuff. I can see, I could see why you could like Stephanos. I could see he's a good looking lad. Rafa, what's this? Rafa, Kasper, Rublev, Ketchmanovic, and Korda. Hmm. Hmm. Casper, is that Lexi? Is that this Nordic sort of, you're from Norway, so you have to throw in a Casper in there. Is that why that is? Casper, Rud, Rublev, hmm. Kachmanovic, Korda. So quite a range of ages there, Lexi, as well. Quite a range of ages. What have we got here? You like the back and forth banter. Yeah, it always seems like a bit of a community. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Don't know what happened there. So, Joseph, tell us which one you want. I will play one here now just for you. I'll play one here just for you. doesn't matter what it is. I'll play it for you. If it's in my list, I'll play it for you. Joseph, it's a private request for you. You tell us which one you want. I like night and day. I like night and day. What's different about them? What's the differences? What's the night and day differences? I guess Ben Ben's a bit beardy, isn't he? He's a bit of a beardy. JG's a bit clean cut. What else? Ben's a great singer. Doesn't Ben do all the jingles? Ben's a great singer. Some might say. I don't know about JG. Marin Kilich. I don't know if we got a Kilich one. If we got it, listen, if it's here, I'm Ben, I'm going to, Joseph, I'm going to go and search through all the clips. If I've got a Kilich clip, I'll tell you what, it's for you. If I've got a Kilich clip. I don't know if there's a Killich clip. So I'm going to put a request out to Game to Love headquarters. If there's a Killich clip, they're going to add it to my list and I'm going to play it for you, Joseph. I'm going to play it for you. Joseph, I put in a request to Game to Love headquarters for your Killich clip. Five pound tip for a button. Five dollar tip for a button. Roof closing. 
hailstones. Yeah, it looks horrendous there. Looks horrendous there. I think we had a bit of a glitch to StreamYard a second ago, didn't we? We had a bit of a glitch. Look at that. Look at that rain. God, it's nice, nice and dry here in Northwest London. Have we got the Killich? Do, 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 do. Right, have we got the Kilich clip just for Joseph? Have we got the Kilich clip? Is it here? Can I find it? I can give you a Tierfo, I can give you a Schwartz, I can give you a Halep, an Anissimova, a Bedoza, a Nadal, an Asaka, a Cerebes Tormo. I don't know if I can give you a Kilich. Can't give you a Kilich. Sorry. Give you a Radicanu. Give you a Radicanu. We got Radicanu overdose, or does anyone want Radicanu? What's happened to the game? Well, we've got some rain. They're closing the roof. Then they'll have to take the covers off, probably just brush the courts. Hmm. Support channel. $3 for a player button. I'm quite new here. I don't even know what these $3 for a player button are. But I would say it's really good to get as many likes as we can. We like likes, good for the channel. And I think the more likes we get, I might get paid another pound or two. But what's important is that, that pound or two, well, I run a tennis club in Hendon and we're just starting to work with a charity called I Play 30 so that we can deliver disability tennis for a local school. And we have to do some fundraising for that. So what I've decided is all the money I get from any of these streams that I do, I'm putting of all of that towards our disability tennis. So the more likes we get, maybe I get a few more pennies here and there, and that all goes towards disability tennis. So everyone who's liking and viewing this is helping provide disability tennis for um, our community in Hendon. So thank you so much, everyone. I would say now is the time to take a comfort break. Powder your nose, grab a coffee, get some popcorn. These two have played each other twice before. One of them went to three sets. The other one, uh, Burr retired, but this one's going to three sets. And I, I can't tell you who's going to win this. I think Jabur had lost her mojo a little bit. Bencic had changed her tactics and was getting more aggressive returns in. Her stats are all moving in the right direction and this is anybody's guess so i guess question now is what have we got in terms of predictions <laughs> any predictions what have we got what have we got prediction wise we got prediction wise and what other matches have we got on today that we're looking forward to what other matches have we got on today and have a look let's see what other matches we might have on today <clears throat> tennis wise tennis 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 what have we got on today um let's have a look at what scores we've got coming up so sinner knocked out tommy paul someone thought tommy was a hottie but he is out Monfils coming towards the twilight of his career, but he's limbering up for the French. Galf and Halep, that'll be a bit of a cracker. Andy Murray, Dominic team. Hazarenka and Nisimova. Dimitrov and Cressy. Cressy's an interesting player. Maxime Cressy, Servan Volia. I think French heritage, but American. Humbert against Shapovalov. That'll be interesting. Shapovalov, interestingly, Matt Little, who we had at our coach conference the other day, Andy Murray, strength and conditioning guy. He is looking after Shapovalov now a bit as well. So doing a lot of online strength and conditioning training for Shapovalov.
Gelf, Gelf against Halep. That'll be interesting. Gelf, Halep. Do, 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 do. What have we got waiting for that roof to close? Benchich in three. Halep gonna, st gonna, what, gonna slap two. What is that? What does that mean, Mike? Gonna slap two. Hmm, I would say, uh, give it 20 minutes and I reckon we're ready to go. Blake, what do you reckon? 20 minutes from now? That takes us to 2.45. I don't know what the air circulation system is like there. So at Wimbledon, they have to get the air circulation system working right. But if I was them, I'd be getting those courts uncovered. I'd be getting the... Um, getting them brushed out. And then you have to think, who is this going to favour? Is this going to favour Bencic? Is it going to favour Jabert? I would say it would favour Bencic. I think Bencic has more experience of an indoors game than Jabert. But um, I would say if you have to put some money down now, it's going to be on Bencic. So probably time... <laughs>
Yeah, what the fuck is that? Oh, coconut, nice. I thought it was a, a like a pina colada or something. <laughs> I want Karatsev to do well. Can Medvedev win it? I think so. The winner for me, Naomi Osaka. I think she's going to so, start the year with a bang. He's Brandon a there, what? Aslan breaks. Well, Alex but, can't believe it. Oh my god, Djokovic into his ninth Australian Open final. He's gone for the love. He's got a smash. He's got it. What a bitch! 18 Grand Slams from Novak Djokovic. He wins his ninth Australian Open title. Down the line. Oh. Look at that. That is top right this stuff. Novak Djokovic has set a new world record. The return of Roger Federer. He misses it's it. Hurt it. Hercash has got it! Come on, son! Oh. He's gone four and he's a, he's a winner! Come on, Rublev wins it! Hey, ole, ole, ole! Stick to your, <laughs> stick to your Russian flag. It's wide! Oh, it's wide! Come on, us wins it! it. Aslan hitting it so hard, he's in! It's there! <laughs> he's got the first set! Come on! What a volley! What a volley from Sitsipas! Yeah, no, no, it's a double fault! I jinxed it! I knew it was going to happen! Oh, 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 Where was he saved it? They're talking about Gail Falkenberg. Favourable treatment here for Rafa no, Nadal to win not. this. And it's wide and Rafa oh. wins it! Come on! Yes! It's number 58! Rafa's missed the oh, volley! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. oh you know he's He silences the crowd, he puts his hand to his ear! There I'm we first. go! Come on! Kaya Jakova wins the Roland Garros 2021! Djokovic yeah. has hit another gear. He just did it because he's, he's better than most players. Rafael Nadal has now withdrawn. I'm gutted. Where are we at? Where are we at with this match? Oh my god, they are taking buckets of water off the court. They're taking buckets of water off the court. So I think it's still going to be a little while while they do it. It's like when they get one of these whales or dolphins stranded on a beach and they're trying to pour buckets of water all over it all. So they're trying to get all that tidied up. So Mike, yeah, there's a lot of loving for Radicano over here and the LTA... Um, heavily promoted in fact i was looking at the lta facebook page the other day and i think something like eight out of nine pictures were all about radicano especially when it was the billy jean king cup it'd be nice to see them spread the love and talk about some of the other players that did um did really well but it's very you know heavily focused on her and um you know running a running a club you know we have noticed people coming to play especially in september because of how well she was doing at the time but I think it's quite sad now when when you're running tennis clubs and you've got kids and, and actually parents as well, you know, very few of them know any of the players. You know, you go to football and they're all wearing Messi and Ronaldo shirts, but very few know the players. A few years ago, I think they'd all know Federer or Nadal or or um or Murray. But, but very few of the female players, and today they don't know the players. So we actually give the kids homework. So we have kids from all over the place we have loads of romanians poles um russians we've got quite a few iranian um kids and we ask them to try and find the names of of players from their country so they can um you know obviously google them they can go and search them out on youtube but just just trying to get them know about the game get them to be aware that they can watch matches on amazon prime or whatever but really need the general public to start watching a bit more tennis it's amazing sport so, what have we got? So, yes, we love Radicano over here. Nice to hear that you love her over there. She's a bit of a phenomenon. I think she appeals to a lot of people. She plays the game in terms of the media pretty well. And uh, she's back on the rise. So, will Anissimova win? Will Halep win? Will Alex win? Well, I don't know if they can all win. You can only have one winner at the end of the day. But um, I'm a bit of an Anissimova fan. She went through a tough time when her father died. Um, but she's on the march back up. The other one that I always sort of put in the same bracket as her is Sophia Kennan, who um, you know is coming back from injury. She's she's out of the top hundred at the moment, but she's you know she'll be she'll move back up those rankings pretty quick. And Halep, well, 
with Muratuglu on her side, I think that gives her a, a, a mojo back. She she felt that she needed a bit of a change. Um, she's had a couple of niggly sort of health things, but she's she's coming back, and the women's game is as open as ever. And with Naomi Osaka not being quite so dominant, with Serena Williams a little bit out of the picture, and with Ashley Barty, who could be anyone out of the picture. I think now's a great time for Halep to make a you know a push in her career and Muratuglu, you know, a bit of bit of a character. Um, but he's got this way of you know getting people to the top. So I think it could be really interesting to see what happens with Halep. Really interesting. What's happened? Where is the match? Well, the match is in Madrid, but it's not happening at the moment because they've had a bit of rain. They've had a bit of rain in Madrid. I think that rain was probably sent over by the Greek tourist board to say to people, hey, don't go to Spain, come to Greece. It's nicer. So they're trying to get all the water off the court. Don't think they made the decision quite quickly enough to cover it all. Um, so they got some water on the court. But the main problem was because they didn't get the roof over quickly enough, lots of water fell on the covers and so there's a whole lot of water sitting on top of the plastic covers that went over the court and that water has to go somewhere you can't just lift the covers up it'll dump water by the side of the clay which can make it can make it quite dangerous so a little bit of work to do i would suggest that this has been a great match so far i think the third set's going to be very interesting and now is the time to quickly make yourself comfortable go get a coffee grab a bite to eat if you need to not much going else going on elsewhere in madrid because the rain everywhere so um let's have a little talk through this and let's find out let's do a little poll let's do a little prediction so it's a prediction time i want you to tell me who you think male and female is going to win the french open who you think, male or female? So it's a pretty straightforward question. Male or female, who is going to win the French Open? Can only have one choice. One choice. Have we got some good pundits out there? Who's going to win that French? We don't even know exactly who's going to compete. We don't know if the French are going to say that Russians and Belarusians can't compete. But assuming all things are equal and everyone is going to play, who is going to win the French? Could it be Gael Monfils's first ever major in the swan song of his career? Might be a bit of a wild card for you. Hmm. Still trying to get this water off. Hmm, Sitsipas and Halep. Can Sitsipas make it? I'll tell you who I don't think will make it. I don't think Zverev will make it. I don't think Zverev will ever win a major. I just don't think he's quite got it. But Sitsipas could be a good call. Unless he comes up against Alcaraz. Because he can't seem to beat him. He can't seem to beat Alcaraz. Anyone else? Anyone else any predictions? Or is it just son of Robin Records? Is it just son of Robin Records? Hmm. Hmm. Who are my winners for Roland Garros? Good question. I think Svartek, I think Iga, Iga, she's going to beat you. I think Iga Svartek. And I think from the male side, I think it's, hmm, I think it's Nadal or Alcaraz. Nadal or Alcaraz. I think you look 18 months ago, Alcaraz didn't have it physically. But now he's got it physically. Now he's got it mentally. Um... And I think when he's beating people like Tsitsipas at the top end of the game, I think he knows he's got it. 
I think Djokovic will be a little bit rusty. He's just not got enough under his belt. I think Nadal also a little bit rusty. Um, yeah, Alcaraz. So Schwartek and Alcaraz, that's what I'm saying. You heard it here first. It's looking like they might be about ready. When did I say they'd be back? I said they'd be back about quarter two. So we've got four minutes to go, I reckon. Four minutes to go. Oh, so I think the time now is ripe to grab a cup of coffee, have some water, go to the toilet, whatever you need to do. Get that done now because they're going to be playing again in a few minutes. And if you can, if you've got a little bit of time, you're sitting here watching, why not like the channel? Why not show some love? Why not give a pat on the back to Ben and JG who bring you this? This is a labor of love. The amount of content they put out there for you guys and give you a forum where you can chat to each other, feel you're part of a community. And some of the slickness, some of these little videos and jingles and stuff they do, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm really... They're really impressed with it. So I run my own coach forum. I run a tennis club. So I'm quite involved in all sorts of aspects of tennis. Only came across going to love relatively recently. But it's really impressive what they do for you all and created something here, a place where you can come and be with your mates and talk tennis. So give them a like, show them some love. Let the world know that this is you know, something they shouldn't be involved with, game to love. As I'm watching Anna, Iv Anna Ivanovich's, she is her doppelganger. Anna Ivanovich's doppelganger walking around, checking it's okay. So interestingly, with clay courts, we spray them regularly with water to keep the clay moist. But if they get a bit too moist and it's uneven, you're going to slip, your, your foot is going to stick and you're going to twist and it's going to hurt. So that's why it was so important to get those covers over really quickly. But it looks like all the ball kids are coming out. It looks like you've got the army here as well. They nationalize the spanish national guard or they're just all wearing olive so anna ivanovich anna ivanovich's look-alike is overseeing it all waiting for the players to come out you know what in this age of um gender equality doesn't tennis lead the way how many other sports do you have where uh, you've got a female refereeing, umpiring the matches, whether it's male or female. How many other sports do you have where they've got parity of prize money? So, um, yeah, tennis really leads the way in terms of gender equality. Another another reason we've got to be proud of this sport. Björn asks, when will the match continue? I predicted that we'd be continuing in about two or three minutes' time. I think they've got a bit of preparation to do, but I... I would stick my neck out, Björn, and I'd say, am I pronouncing it correctly? Björn or Björner? Apologies if I got it wrong. I'll, I'll just call you B if that's all right. So B, I think um, within the next 10 minutes we'll be going. So don't go too far. Get yourself a drink. Make yourself comfy. 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go. So we've only had Son of Robin Records predict who's going to win the French Open, which is Sitsipas or Halep. Surely we got some other predictions out there. Surely we got some other people who've put their money where their mouth is and know who's going to be winning that French Open. I've got Schwartek and Alcaraz. Yeah, I predicted Alcaraz. Son of Robin Records, Sitsipas and Halep. Anyone think Radakanu? Did anyone think Radakanu's timing it right on clay? Lexi, that is very polite of you. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. You know, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna go down and get a quick cup of coffee myself as well. Raging Bill. Now, <laughs> that is a fantastic name, Raging. Raging Bill. Rafa and eager, Rafa and eager. You know what? I think if you were put, if you were to put money on that, I think that's not an unsafe bet. I think that's a pretty safe bet. Listen, I'm going to go and get a quick coffee. I hope that's all right. What jingle can I leave you with? Have we got the Killich jingle? Is Killich here yet? Is the Killich jingle? She's not, he's not here. 
He's not here. Listen, I'm going to leave you with Ben and JG. Apparently, they're night and day. I personally think there's a little something going on. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a bromance. So it might not be romantic, but there's there's something going on. These two, there's a certain je ne sais quoi going on here. And uh, I think that's what makes this channel so special. There's a bit of chemistry with Ben and JG. That I've never met them, but you can sense it coming through the screen. You can, If computers were to have some sort of ability to smell, I reckon you could smell the pheromones or whatever, or the aftershaves or whatever. These two, they've got a certain je ne sais quoi. I'm going to get a coffee. I'm going to see you in a minute. What are you drinking? <laughs> yeah, what, what is that? Oh, coconut. Nice. I thought it was a, I'd like a pina colada or something. <laughs> I want Karatsev to do well. Can Medvedev win it? I think so. The winner for me, Naomi Osaka. I think she's going to so, start the year with a bang. He's Brandon a there. What? Aslan breaks. Well, Alex but... can't believe it. Oh my God. Djokovic into his ninth Australian Open final. Where's he's gone for the love. He's got a smash. He's got it. What a bitch. 18 Grand Slams from Novak Djokovic. He wins his ninth Australian Open title. Down the line. Oh. Look at that. That is top right this stuff. Novak Djokovic has set a new world record. The return of Roger Federer. He misses it's it. Hurt it. Hercos has got it! Come on, son! He's gone for and he's a winner! Good! Rublev wins it! Hey, ole, ole, ole! Stick to your Russian flag. It's wide! It's wide! Come on, Oz wins it! Aslan hitting it so hard, he's in! It's there! He's got the first set! Come on! What a volley! What a volley from Sitterpass! No, no, it's a double fault! I jinxed it, I knew it was gonna happen! Oh, 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 Where was he saved it? They're talking about Gail Falkenberg. Favourable treatment here for Rafa no, Nadal to win not. this. And it's wide, and Rafa oh. wins it! Come on! Yes! It's number 58! Rafa's missed the volley! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. oh you naughty Fresh boy! Up. He silences the crowd, he puts his hand to his ear! There I'm we go! Come on! Kaya Jakova wins at Roland Garros 2021! Doc has hit another gear. He just did it because he's. he's... Cough. What a double act. What a double act, those two. The Anton Deck, the Morecambe and Wise, the um, Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan of the tennis commentary world. Who does this rain delay help the most, John T? Um, well, it helped me because I was able to go downstairs and make a coffee. So hopefully my wife, Melanie, will be bringing my coffee up in a second. I look forward to that. She might even appear on screen. Um, I think it's going to help Benchich. I think Benchich should be more suited to indoor play. Um, and I think the momentum is with her. So Jabur has to regroup. And then what happens here, Jabur, when you've got all this time on your mind, we've got all this time, you start thinking about what's happened in the past. You start thinking about what's happened in the future. What's Jabur going to be thinking? Oh, I've lost to her both times. You know, I've lost in three sets. So, you know, I've never been able to turn it around. So, I think Benchic should be in the driving seat. But the beauty of tennis, it, it, we're left with egg on our face when we make these predictions, right? But I, I'd say it favours Benchic, but it, anyone can take this. Let's just hope that we have a cracking set because I don't want to see a six love or a, you know, a six one. I, I want to see this close. I want to see some good competitive tennis. Hope that answers your question, May. What do you think? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What do you think? What's your opinion? Yeah, see, I I don't know, Gary. I think Jabur's first serve was failing her a little bit. So she won. She wins a lot of points off her first serve, but she wasn't getting so many first serves in. I think that was a bit of nerves. I think she lost her way a little bit. If she can increase her first serve percentage just up to about 65%, um, then I think she'll win, but it's a you know it's a difficult thing to suddenly make your serve appear where it disappeared a little bit. Her problem is if she's missing these first serves, she's not got a great percentage on winning the second serves. So um, she has to get those first serves in. Who'll be serving to start off the set? Jabur. 
So she'll be starting off surfing. Uh, the conditions were a little bit different. I, 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 you know, I don't know if I'd like to be serving first coming into this third set. I'd like to get a game under my belt before I started surfing in different conditions. So I think, um, I, I think, you know, if I had to put some money on it, I think I'd put it on Benchic. What are the odds at the moment? What are the odds for, for Benchic? So it's eleven to ten for Jabur. 8 to 11 for Benchich. I you know I I would favor Benchich at this point. Raging Bill. Surely Jabur favors. Why? Why do you think it favors Jabur? Why? Give us your rationale raging. She played best from the first start. You know that reminds me of many years ago. God, it was Tim Henman, Goran Ivanisevic. I think it was Wimbledon semi-final. Ivanisevic, Goran, started like a train. And Henman was starting to come back into it. Rain delay. Rain delay, start again. Ivanisevic started like a train. Henman started to come back into it. It was all too little, too late. But the rain delays favoured the, the person who played best from the start. However, Bill, I think this is a little bit different because now they're starting in different conditions indoors. And I think that it takes you a little while to get used to those different conditions. The light's different. The sound's different. There's no wind. We could see that the wind was swirling around a little bit before. So I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm putting my money on Benchich. I put my money on Benchich. Benchich is more beta. I think this could be my coffee. I think this could be my coffee coming in. Is this my coffee coming in? This is my coffee coming in. Melanie, do you want to say hello? No. Do you want to say she doesn't want to say hello? She should come on in, Melanie. To say hello. She doesn't want to say hello. She's shy. She's shy. She feels you're intimidating. She doesn't want to come in and say hello. Benchich is more beatable by Emma. So I'm going for her in case they meet. Well, that's uh, listen, at least you've got some logic there. At least you got some logic. What have we got next? When will the game start? Tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know what's happening to the game. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can go put some sound on. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, uh, I have the warming up balls. You, you change balls. Okay, but the Yeah, so they're talking about getting the restart. So they'll have some warm-up balls that they'll use and then they'll come back to the game balls. So I think it's going to... I think the game is going to start again soon. It's always a longer, a little longer. So on this bank holiday weekend, I had loads of plans. We're going to go to the pub. We're going to have a nice meal. But actually, I'm here. I'm sort of stuck here watching a bit of tennis. But there's much worse things in the world to be stuck here doing. So great that I get to see a bit of tennis. Great to like get to see some of these, these names, Raging Bill. And um, yeah, when I talked about the famous partnerships, JG Defo Akaili. JG Defo Akaili. Well, I've heard that JG is not that tall. So, so um, that, that could be him. That could be him. Ben should be so lucky, eh? And better the devil you know. So JG's a bit of a Kylie. So we're saying that Ben's a bit of a Jason Donovan, are we? I don't know. I don't know if he's a Jason Donovan. I think this helps the player who lost the second set. Why do you think that, May? Why do you think that helps the player that lost the second set? But then you say the momentum was on the bench it side. So why, why do we think that? Jabur going to win this match for sure. Why is Jabur going to win it for sure? Why are you so sure? Why are you so definite about that one? What do you reckon? So where are we? The delay causes the momentum for Benchich to stop. 
like JG Medical Timeout. Her could be. I personally, though, may I think that it's going to be up here for Jabba. I think she's going to be thinking, you know, she's lost those two previously. She's seen Bencic come back into it. And, you know, I think it's going to be with them. Um, I think Bencic. So, Mike, quick question for you. Have you ever played in a match with a rain delay? Have you ever played in a match with a rain delay? Have you ever played in a match with a rain delay? So, Bell Hassan Guetta, that is quite a name, Bell Hassan Guetta. Where are you from with a name like that? It's incredible. Um, why has play been suspended? Because it was pouring down with rain. It was pouring down with rain. I think hail, there was so much rain they had to stop it. So that's why it stopped. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the beauty about tennis, Mike, is that anyone can play any level, any any age. So that's the beauty of it. And actually, there was a lovely study, the Copenhagen. Have a look for this online. Google the Copenhagen City Heart Study Tennis, and you will see that they looked at about 8,000 different sports over 25 years, how these would impact your lifespan. Tennis was the one far and away that added the most to people's lifespan. So it didn't matter what sport, football, hockey, tennis, jogging, they all added to your lifespan. But tennis added on average 9.7 years. 9.7 years. It's incredible sport. Bel Hassan, you're from Tunisia. So, well, great to speak to a Tunisian with Jabir. So we've got lots of Jabir favourites here. I'm assuming you're a Jabir fan, Bel Hassan. You're a Jabir fan. She's famous in Tunisia. Hopefully that Tunisians will all support her. Do, 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 do. You haven't missed the rest of the match, Bill. You haven't missed the rest of the match. We're having a little bit of a breather. Having a little bit of a breather. But listen... You know, thank the Lord that we have roofs over over um, courts now. Otherwise, this would just be postponed till tomorrow and then matches pile up. So you know, great that we got uh, great that we got roofs up. Deepu Kumar, we're glad you're back. Where did you go? Why did you leave? Why weren't you here all the time? What is going on with that? Amen. Another Tunisian. Have we got the whole of Tunisia tuning in because Ons is playing? <laughs> right let's see where we're at so i'm having a look at the court it's all still there still waiting joseph game to love headquarters recognize your contribution to our chat pal this one is for you be the rich ain't a snitch make to my bitch marry chillich be the rich ain't a snitch make to my bitch i'm marry chillich i got the itch put you in the ditch you little bitch i'm marry chillich i got the itch put you in the ditch you little bitch i'm marry chillich cool that that's uh that clip needs to come with a little video warning about the lyrics there. So, Joseph, that one is for you. Um, thank you very much to the Game to Love headquarters for providing us with that one. I've been told that um, if we want any more requests for clips, we need to do the tip. We need to do the top tippers. Need to do a tip. So, if you want a clip, give us a tip. Tell me what the clip is. I will speak on your behalf to so the Game to Love headquarters. They're beavering away. There's a whole army of them behind the screens making sure all the data's coming through i'll make sure that we get that for you um so give us a tip but joseph that one is for you hope you enjoyed the marin kilich one right where were we dipu where had you gone you had your exam that's why what are you studying dipu what exam was it that took you away from tennis what exam was it that was from tennis bell hassan that's great it's great to see some patriotism behind your player Great to see some patriotism. It's one of my favourites. I think she's a favourite of a lot of players just because she's got so much variety. So, um, yeah, lots of people outside of Tunisia supporting her as well. What's happened? 
We had a bit of rain, couldn't get the umbrellas up quick enough. <laughs> that was a good jingle, wasn't it? That was a good jingle. So, um, yeah, so I think these, uh, I think Ben and JG fancy themselves as rappers, really. I think they go around, they do all this stuff and geezer and all the little rappers. But yeah, it's quite a good one. Quite a good one. So, who's uh, my favorite basketball player? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It's not my sport, I'm afraid. It's not my sport. Not my sport. So let's see. You say that, Bill. You say that, but there is actually a game to love headquarters. There's a whole team of people doing these stats. Um, there's also that they've got a team of ancillary staff. So obviously, you know, Ben and JG, they, they like to be well groomed. So they, they have some people working on their makeup and their hair for the stuff. They also advise them on, on fashion choices. But um, my understanding is that Ben and JG are reluctant to look good on on screen and just refuse any advice on the fashion i'm afraid so uh how can you meet me um i'm really sorry to tell you deepu but i'm happily married so i'm i'm unavailable if i wasn't though i'd be meeting you in a flash no problem at all tennis is not my sport. how can it not be your sport what is your sport shotty if it's not tennis it's in, how can that be uh supersonic so have a good day. Thank you to Daraba for joining us. And uh, hope to see you again another time. Hope to see you again another time. The match has started, Lady T, but it stopped. One set all, it stopped. There was a rain delay. We're going to be coming back to it soon. But whilst we're waiting for it to start, Son of Robin Records, thank goodness we got him on the stream because he's coming up with some great questions. We got Galf Halep. We've got some other matches coming up today. Galf Halep. Coco Galf, Corey Galf, Galf, Galf Halep. My money's on Halep. Buzkova, Alexandrova. My money's on Buzkova. Azarenka versus Anisimova. Now that's an interesting one. What are your predictions on these? What are your predictions? There's a lot of tennis knowledge within this group. What are your predictions for these? I have two kids, May, and um, they cost a fortune, but they're absolutely worth it. Trouble is, my son is nearly 15. He's nearly as tall as me. So every day, I'm as tall as you. I'm as tall as you. He's not as tall as me. But um, yeah, changes your life completely when you get these kids. So my job is to try and persuade them to follow the same football team as me. Try to get them into tennis. But uh, yeah, I've got two kids. How about you, May? Have you got any kids? I I would say that's not a bad, not a bad shout. And miss him over, like her, like her. Dipu, how can you join the subscription? Let's see if we can get a message out to you about that one. Got Amanda. In the semis, let's see what's going on with this match. Let's have a look at the match. It looks like they're coming back on. Are we about ready? Deepu, I live in a house. I live in a house. I hope that was what your question was, but I live in a house. To subscribe. This is how you subscribe. Join the membership. Be part of the family. Be part of the family. Part of the family. Does she look like Anna Ivanovic? She looks like Anna Ivanovic. I miss Anna Ivanovic. I miss Anna Ivanovic. Didn't she have a didn't she have a lifetime deal with Adidas where they were so convinced that she was going to be the next big thing that they sponsored her for life? And she never won another major over that. Where do I live? I live in a house, Deepu. I live in a house near London in a place called Croxty Green. Croxty Green. It's quite green near Watford. But 
No kids had a pug, but he passed. It is really sad when you lose your dog. So we got a dog at the moment. We've lost some dogs before. It's really sad. But um, hopefully you enjoyed having your time with him and he had enjoyed his time with you. And that from now on, anything can happen. The world is your lobster, mate. The world is your lobster, as they don't say. It looks like we might be going back on court now, Bell Hassan. It looks like they might be going back on court. At the moment, they're showing lots of pictures of the audience. Let's see. There's a couple kissing in the audience. Now, this is what happens. You get couples kissing in the audience, but they're not actually a couple. And one or half of the couple is back home seeing them on the audience. So, got to be careful of these public displays of affection. I don't know what's going on there. How do I know Ben and Jay? Well, that's, I could tell you, Bill, but I'd have to kill you. I could tell you, but that is a long story. And I'm sure you can see with characters like Ben and JG, they know all sorts of people and they got all sorts of stories to tell. But as they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Can't tell you. Maybe one day. What do we got here? Whose play style did you prefer in the first two sets? Jabur's or Benchich's? Whose play style? Hmm. Well, I if this is a question for me, I like Jabur's play style. I like the variety that she has. Um, but I tell you, I also have a lot of respect for Benchich, realizing that she had to change things up. And I like that someone doesn't just keep making the same mistakes realizes that they have to change something and she was brave and she changed it so i don't really have a favorite out of the two of them um in terms of what they did so but i tell you what's nice when you see matches like this there's no histrionics there's no complaints there's no screaming or throwing rackets they just get on with it they really manage their emotions well and when you think in a game of tennis they, in most of the time, they're not actually hitting the ball. Most of the time, they're thinking. They're between points. They're between between games, between sets. And they really have to have it up here to, to keep control out of that. All the emotions, the momentum swings, the thinking about other things, the crowd. So real respect to these ladies for, for keeping the focus and keeping it a really respectful game. But I think the players are coming back out now. So, hmm... It's taken us maybe uh, nearly an hour. Son of Robin Records. He's a bit of a stato, isn't he? I can just imagine this son of Robin Records. is probably sitting at home with his laptop. He's got multiple screens out there scouring for every possible stat. But we need the son of Robin Records to bring the stats, to bring this to life. So... This community is for everyone. There's a place for everyone. The people with the stats, the people who ask the questions, the people with pugs, the people from Norway who live in the Philippines, the people from Philippines who live in Israel, and the people who live in Cropsey Green with tall, expensive sons. Here we go. One set all. What are your predictions? Final time to ask for some predictions. <laughs> Coming into the final set, Nabil, you're welcome. I wish I could give you a more definitive one side or the other, but look at these two. Respectful, great play, could go either way. I just hope that we have a competitive third set. I want a competitive third set. I want some entertainment there for all the people who've stuck with this the whole way through. We're in this together. We are in this together. Don't sit on the fence, Bill. Tell us what you really think. <laughs> oh, I've got my coffee. I've got my insulated clean canteen. Where is it? Is it over there? Is it there? Nice insulated. Keeps my coffee warm. Thank you to my lovely wife for bringing that up. Got my coffee. Got my water. What's the time here? It is 10 past three. 
10 past three on a Monday afternoon. What a great way to spend a Monday afternoon watching tennis. The Olympic champion, the best female player in the Arab world. Brilliant. Sport can throw up all these different matchups. And we've got two top quality athletes here who've dedicated their life to this game. Hmm. Entertaining us. Brilliant. So they'll play with some warm-up balls, then we'll play, then they'll play with the match balls. Having a bit of a warm-up, getting the feet going. Normally before a match, they'd be um they'd be warming up for about 45 minutes or so beforehand. So the the five minutes or so you see them warm up is just the tip of the iceberg. But here it's a little bit difficult. They go off court, they want to stay warm, they don't want anything to cool down, seize up. They'll have little routines. So when they're waiting off stadium, they'll be doing little routines with their coaches. We do we do one with the kids. Andy Murray does this a lot, where putting your hands up and the, the other person has to high five you depending on where your hand is. Then we do one where we put our hands behind our back and then we bring our hand out. And if it's got a ball in, you have to high five you. If there isn't a ball in it, you don't high five it. So just something to get the reactions going. Anything to keep you keep you going. And if ever you see these players, these in these stadiums, they just have tiny little spaces and they're trying to make the most ball bouncing, catching, high fiving, fast footwork just to try and get going, try and stay in the in the moment for this. So this is a one set shootout. Whoever can start the fastest is gonna win. Whoever can start the fastest is gonna win. They both got great experience, they both know their game plans. Hmm. I don't think it, I don't think it's as easy to call as Bill. I don't think it's as easy to call as Bill says, but Bill's a brave man. He's gone for 62 Jabur. He's an honorary Tunisian right now. No Bill, they might not. I don't think they follow your routine and lie down and watch TV. I think they keep at it. They keep moving, they keep mobile, they keep warm. They try and keep the focus on what's going on. And here we go. We're just about ready to start. Are we ready to start? Are we ready to start, Bill? Are you ready to start? Are you still laying down watching TV? No, it's very mental. Very mental. So two and a half hours ago, this match started. Was it two and a half hours ago? Yep. And now it's all down to the next 30 minutes or so. And this is an early round match. What a great tournament to be throwing up matches like this that you don't know which way it's going to go. So we're about to start predictions. <laughs> Bill is leading the way. Bill R. Bill, I think you should change your I think you should change your title to Brave Bill. Let's put his money where his mouth is. I'm going Benchich. The whole of Tunisia is telling me I'm wrong. We're going Jabur. Bill, Bill's Tunisian today as well. I was going Jabur. Here we go. Jabur serving to start the third set. First serve in. Benchich hits it long. Bill, the party has started. 15 love Jabur. Who settles the quickest? Jabur hits the first serve long. Court looks pristine now. It's all been swept. Jabur, second serve out wide. God, oh, they're making each other run. Benchich forehand in control. Made Jabur run from side to side, hit it to the forehand corner, then hit it down the line. Jabur just couldn't get to it. So levels, 15 all. Jabur serves first serve out wide. A little bit too wide, though. A little bit too wide. A little bit too wide. Second serve in the net. Double faults. 15-30. Lexi, I'm with you. I'm with you. Benchich, I think, to win this one. 15.30. Serves down the middle. 
Bencic was <laughs> was in control. He had a great he had a great return forehand down the line. Gets the ball back on her forehand, hits it out. So she's not got the length on her forehand at the moment. 30 all. Served down the middle, backhand. Jabur comes in. Oh, approach shot right at the net. Wax it. How many times have I said, come into the net, you're going to be winning the point. 40-30 to Jabur. Problem Bencic had earlier in the match was the length on her ground strokes, and it's come back. Jabur hits the net with the first serve. Second serve. Double faults. Is that two double faults in this? Uh, is that two double faults in that game? If that's two double faults in this game, I reckon Bencic wins it. Let's see if that stat's right. Hits it wide. Second serve from Jabur. Down the middle, backhand from Bencic. Backhand again from Bencic. Trading backhands. Now on the forehand of Jabur. And she gets it just in. Went back behind Bencic. So interesting stat. When there's two double faults in a ladies match, it's almost a dead cert that the lady serving loses. Can Jabur break that stat here? It's got a great chance. So on the advantage, they're in play, and she breaks that stat. She hits it back behind Bencic again. So great tactic on Clay, hitting it back behind the player. Takes the opening game. One love, one love in the third set. Very quick changeover. Don't need any changeover time now. They've had about an hour waiting for that roof to come up. The party has started, Bill. The party has started. Lexi's brave. She's 6'2", six, 6'4". Six, Bill's saying it's 6'2". Anyone else got any predictions? Come on. Where are these predictions? Put your money where your mouth is. Tunisians, who's going to win? What's the score going to be in this set? I want some predictions. Here we go. Benchish. What's she got now after this break? What has she got? Mm -hmm. First serve to the middle, backhand return. Oh, overcooks it. Great first serve down the middle. Gets the short shot back from the backhand return from Jabur. Just whacks it wildly out. Belinda, don't let me down. I had you down as taking this now. 15 love. Love 15 to Jabur. Belinda needs to settle those nerves. Serves down the middle. A little bit wide, though. She had Jabur on the stretch, but it was a little bit too wide. It was a little bit too good. So Jabur back and down the middle. Chips it back in. Bencic at the net. Wax it straight to Jabur, who can't quite control it. The net player yet again wins the point. 15 all. Bill, you are the master of the obvious. That's <laughs> your title. Bill, the master of the obvious. Bell Hassan, 6 3, brave man. Bench it serves out wide. Serves out wide. Tries to hit it down the line. Overcooks it. Overcooks it. She's not adjusted well to the conditions so far. 15.30. Jabur trying to keep her cool. 15.30. So, bench it serving to try and level. Serves down the middle, high return back down the middle. Bencic hits the double-handed backhand in the net. So it's a great tactic to serve down the middle if you can elicit a short shot back down the middle. But Jabur's hitting a deep one back down the middle and then Bencic has to generate all the power. 
And that generating all the power, she hits it in the net. 1540, break point to Jabur. Break point to Jabur. Serves out wide, a little bit too wide. Hits her racket on the ground bench. Hitch. That's a surprise to see after a first serve. Jabur gets it back in play. They're forehand to forehand trading. And Benchich hits it in the net. Jabur breaks, takes an early lead to love. Very much like the first set. Really reverted to the first set. Benchich overhitting stuff. Frustrated with herself, hits the racket on the ground. You don't want to see that. It's really a case of if Jabur can be getting these first serves in. Doesn't want second serves. Second serve in. Benchich trying to be aggressive. Having said that, she doesn't want to be uh, missing that first serve because she's not winning so many of her second serve points. Benchich is just, she's out of it at the moment. She's really not got the measure of this match. So, Jabur hits the first serve in the net. She's 15 love up. Second serve. Benchich, I think, has overcooked it again. It's 30 love. If I was Jabur, I wouldn't be going for it now. I'd just be getting stuff in because you know that Benchich is going to be missing stuff. Benchich, she has to find a way to calm down. Get to this changeover. She's overcooked another one. She's lost it. Her head's gone. She has to get to the changeover. Sit down. Calm down. Relax. It's just one break in this. Sit down. Calm down. Relax. Jabur serving. 40 love. Hits it wide. And finally, finally, I think it's our second one of the match. I think Joseph's gone to sleep, hasn't he? Joseph's gone to bed. So it's three love now, Jabur. It's three love. Benchich has to sit down, calm herself down, work out what to do, get back to what she was doing in the second set, take a little bit of power off her shots, stop going so wild, just get some stuff in. <clears throat> get some stuff in. Bill, you might be the master of the obvious, but you're also dead right. It's uh, really worked in Jabur's favour here. Excuse me a second. <clears throat> really worked in Jabur's favour here. And, um, you know, Benchich isn't careful. 15 minutes time, this is all over. So she has to come out, hold her serve, stop overhitting stuff, <coughs> make Jabur move a little bit more. Get a game on the board. I think if Benchich can't hold a serve here, match is over. So it's really down to whether Benchich can hold a serve now and make a game out of it. 7-5. Nabil, you think you think Benchich is going to come back into this? I think this is the key game. This is the game. It's the fourth game. You know, I don't like to play the business end jingle, but this feels like this is a business end of the set. If this, you know, if Benchich doesn't pull this one back, it's in trouble. But if she pulls this one back, if she manages to get a break back, suddenly we're, we're three all. I would love to see three all and see what happens. There's the two coaches with their white hats, their little designer stubble. Sitting in their little box. Not getting told off by their player at the moment. Bench it serving. Love three down. Third set. Serves out wide. A little bit too wide. Jabur's got the measure of the distance of this. So she gets to it. It's just what comes back. Second serve. Probably a kicker. No, it's out wide again. Wrong serve to do. Out wide again. Straight into Jabur's hitting zone. 
whacks it back cross court to the forehand side. Benchich can't control it. Yeah, so look at some stats there. The last 15 points, Jabur's won 13 of them. She has to get a grip of this quickly and start getting some points in. Serves out wide. Jabur tries to slice slice it back. Can't slice it back. Goes out 15-0. Just needs to calm down. Listen, it's easy for me to sit here and say it. But as a player, you have to find tactics to keep you in the moment. To stop worrying about what's happened before, what might happen. Benchits to serve 15 all. Serves down the middle. Backhand return from Jabur. They're rallying forehand to forehand cross court. Benchits tries to change direction and go to the backhand side. Wide, long, out. 15 30. No, 30 30 15. So actually, it wasn't wide, long, out. It was Jabur's shot who was a bit long. 30-15 to, to Benchich. Down the middle. I think that was a I think that was a let. Benchich gets another couple of balls, chooses which one she wants. About to serve. 30-15. Tries to go wide, hits it in the net. Second serve. Jabur will be attacking this as she has done all match. Attack backhand to backhand. Benchich overcooks it a little bit. It's now 30 all. God, I don't like this tactic of the players tucking their skirt in. So these sports manufacturers must have made uh, must have invested a lot of money in designing all this sports apparel. Why do they need to tuck the skirts in as well? Are they that unsure of whether this ball will stay in there or not. It's weird. Bench it serving. First serve, 30 all in the net. Second serve, don't hit it to the forehand of Jabur because it'll just come back like a rocket. Where she serves, down the middle, backhand return, backhand from Benchich, forehand to forehand trading. And Jabur overhits it. So, almost like she heard me. She didn't serve to the forehand. Served down the middle. Got a backhand. Was in control of the point. 40-30. Is she going to make it complicated, Benchic? Or can she close out this service game now to make it 3-1? Here it comes. First serve out wide. Backhand down the line. Jabur sliding. Oh, no. So she's done the hard part. Moved Jabur right across the court, then tried to go back behind her, but, but hit it a little bit too wide. I think needed to keep her moving from side to side on the court. It's juice. It's juice. Serves out wide, Jabur chips it back. Jabur slicing back. She's just slicing and chipping stuff back into play. Benchich just overhitting. She's completely lost her mojo. It's break point advantage to Jabur. This might as well be a match point. If she wins this, she goes four love up. Come on, Benchich. What have you got? Point by point. First serve down the middle. Jabur hits it a little bit wide. First point recovered. Back to juice. Great serve under pressure. Got the first serve in down the middle. Got Jabur on the stretch. She got to it, but she just couldn't keep it in. Serving at juice. Three love down. Serves kind of the body. Oh, brilliant. Kind of served jams. Jabur up on the forehand to the body, but only return it right back down the middle of the court. And Benchich hits it back into the forehand corner with a beautiful double-handed backhand. Nothing Jabur can do. Benchich takes the advantage. Can she get her first game on the board in this second set? Can she get this on the board? 
serves down the middle, looked like it was great on the tee. She wins the point, it's 3-1. Well done, Belinda. Make you want quit. Baddest girl about gon' make you submit. That gold around her neck and prove she's legit. Belinda Bitch. Here we go. Jabur serving down the middle. Backhand return deep from Benchic. Benchic getting her range now. Oh, she hit a couple of backhands that she got the range just right. But she was pulled so far across to the right hand side, the backhand side, Benchic. Left the court completely open to Jabir. Doesn't make a mistake. 15 love up. On her way to try and take a 4-1 lead. Serves out wide. Benchic. Backhand return. Jabir just needed to keep her cool, but drive volleys it straight out. Really hard to keep your focus here. You're thinking, just another point and I've won this. Just another point and I've won. They need to re remain in the moment. Benchich serves out, sorry, Jabur serves out wide. Benchich gets to it, but can't keep it in. Overhits it. Jabur 30-15 up. 30-15 up. Serving now, tried to go down the middle. Benchich at her best when she's attacking, hitting this ball back to the feet of Jabur. Oh. Missed by inches. It was a great return, but just missed by inches. Fine margins mean that Jabir is 40-15 up to take a 4-1 commanding lead. It's not over, but she's inching towards it. Here she comes for the serve. Serves out wide. Benchich, great return. Brilliant. She pulled Benchich right off the court. Benchich really went for it with her return. And Jabir just couldn't quite move to that return cross-court forehand. Hits it out. Bench it swinging freely. 40-30. She needs to face another Jabir second serve. And she hasn't got it because Jabir's serve is in. Ah, oh, but Jabir nets. So Jabir did a great serve down the middle. Somehow Benchich managed to get it back in. Jabir's serve plus one straight in the net. This is nerves, pure and simple. Juice, juice, three one Jabur. Can Benchic engineer a break point? Serves down the middle. Had Benchic absolutely at full stretch, wins the point. Advantage Jabur. Advantage Jabur. Composes herself, takes her time. Serves down the middle. Chipped back on the backhand from Benchic. Now Benchic is hitting with a bit more power. Oh, she hit with a bit more power, but Jabur really nicely changes the direction of the ball with depth. And there's really not a lot that Benchic can do. And the problem is when you're changing the direction like this, you can't read what's coming next. You don't know where the ball is going to go. Oh, you like these buttons? Which buttons are those that you like? Which buttons are those, Lady T? So Benchich under increasing pressure now. She managed to hold on in her last service game. She desperately needs to hold on in this service game to make it 4-2. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about arms to burn. We're talking about arms to burn. We're talking about arms to burn.
and she's really certain to stay in this set now for one down if she can hold 4-2 if she can get a nibble on the Jabir serve 4-3 first job there is uh first job there is holding on to this serve first serve from Benchich serves down the middle backhand return from Jabir just wide 15 love perfect start Linda checking which ball she wants to use because they're all different, right? Checking which serve, she, which ball she wants to use. About to serve to try and make it 30, love. Calm her nerves a little bit. Mm. Yep, yeah, serves down the middle. Hits the net. Serves down the middle. Good return from Jabir. Serve plus one from um, Bencic. Hits the net, pops over, puts the hand up, say sorry, even though she might not be sorry. 30 love up. What have we got here? 30 love up. First serve out wide. Jabir kind of chips it back. Now they're trading down the middle. Backhand to backhand. Backhand slice from Jabir. Beautiful, beautiful weight of shot. Drop shots it over. I think she's had about five of those. She's won four of them. Brilliant. Not a lot you can do. Beautiful shot. 30-15 to Jabir. 30-15 to Jabir. Sorry, 30-15 to Bencic. 30-15 to Bencic. Who serves, hits the net, goes long. Second serve. Expect Jabir to attack this. Try and bring it to 30 all. Serves down the middle. They're trading down the middle until Jabir tries to hit it wide. Oh, she hit it wide to the Benchich backhand. Benchich gets it down the line. Don't think Jabir was expecting Benchich to get to that. 40-15. 40-15. Benchich serving to... Give herself a little foothold in this match to make it 4-2. Can she? 40-15. Serves down the middle. Jabir full stretch. Drive volley. Backhand drive volley. One of the hardest shots you can do. She did it with ease. <laughs>
Jabur gets to it, tries to slice it back, just can't do it. Great play from Bencic. 30 all. Jabur serves out wide, chips back from Bencic. Little bit of a slip there from Jabur. She couldn't quite get to it. Bencic's chip was enough. And she's 40 30. It's a break point here. It's a break point. It's a break point. There was a little bit of a slip there from Bencic, uh, from Jabur. Break point to make it 4 3. Can Bencic take it? First serve down the tee. Oh, Bencic hits it in the net. Great serve. This T serve to a right hander when you're serving from the advantage side really puts him on the stretch, even though it's on the forehand. It's juice. She saved almost every break point, Jabur. Serves down the middle again. Bencic short backhand, but Jabur's on it like a flash, just dinks it back over the net. Advantage to Jabur. This is to take. This is to take a 5-2 lead and be within touching distance of the match. A 5-2 lead. Serves down the middle, a little bit long. Second serve. Second serve, lots of nerves. Bencic is going to attack this. Serves that wide. Bencic attacks, but hits it in the net. Burst. Her, it's her. Talking about Talking about Talking about Oh, very nervy. This could be Jabur's first win and three attempts over Bencic. But Bencic has been, uh, been playing a little bit better than at the beginning of this set. Been playing a little bit better than the beginning of this set. But now we are at the business end. <laughs> And the pressure is going to be on Belinda here. The pressure is going to be on Belinda. I don't think, I don't think Onstrabur has to do that much here. Just has to not do anything stupid, not necessarily go for anything crazy. The pressure is on Belinda. She knows that if Belinda holds here, she then serves for the match. So nothing crazy from Onstrabur if I was her. Belinda, get that first point on the board. Feel that you're ahead in the game. Serve out wide. Serve plus one to the backhand side. That should do the damage. What a great matchup. Great matchup this has been. What a shame we had a rain delay. But credit to both ladies for high quality tennis. Great emotional control. Here we go. The business end. Bencic serving. 2-5 down. Third set. Serves to the body. Backhand to backhand trading. Oh, no. Serves to the body. Really jams Jabur up. Hits it straight back at Bencic's feet. It's an Angie Kerber or Radvanska-like on-the-knees type of shot back. But then she hits... Linda hits it in the net. It's love 15 to Jabur. She didn't need that. She needs to get this first serve in, get a point on the board, steady the nerves. A little bit long. A little bit long. So, second serve. It's in. I think... Jabur just overhit that backhand return. She was going aggressively for it away from Bencic, but a little bit too much. So 15 all. Bencic, a little bit of a lifeline. Could do with the first serve here. 
serves out wide. Jabir tries to chip it back. Can't get it over, though. 30-15, a cheap point. She has to do a bit more than just those scoopy chip back shots. Jabir, she has to do a bit more than that. 30-15. Serving, Benchich, 30-15. Down the middle, Jabur on the stretch, perfect length. Backhand slice. Benchich gets some power. Here comes the drop shot from Jabur. Oh, I think she's hit the line. Amazing, beautiful drop shot from Jabur to the forehand side. Benchich gets to it. Hits it cross court, literally along the, the line of the net. Jabur somehow off the court sliding manages to get it back onto the, the sideline. Ball was behind her when she did that. Reminds me of Andy Murray a few years ago. 30 all. Great play from both women. Mutual respect from Bencic. 30 all. Bencic serving. Tries to serve down the middle. Doesn't quite get it right. What's she going to do now? I'd be going to the body to try and jam up Jabur. Goes to the body. Backhand to backhand. Jabur slicing. Benchit's trying to put the power on. Jabur slicing. Oh, it's almost a carbon copy of the point before. She drop shots. Benchit gets pulled out wide to the side. Match point. Here we go. Here we go. Benchich under huge pressure now. 30 40 down. Match point. Needs a first serve here. Needs a first serve. Hits it a little bit long. Get this in, get your feet moving. Gets it in, Jabur whacks it back. Benchic double-handed backhand, scoops it back in. Jabur in control, hits the net, gets it in. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about arms, Jabur. Well, third time lucky. Third time lucky. What a tense, what a tense third set that was. But wasn't it lovely to see at the end smiles from both ladies and embrace Bencic going off court, smiling to the crowd now. It's not easy when you've lost to have to do that. But it looks pretty genuine to me. Some warmth there between the players. Talking to each other at the net. Smiles. Brilliant, brilliant. So well done on Jabur. Um, great quality entertainment and tennis from them. What did you think of the match? That was a long rain delay. It was a long match. What did you think of it? It was brilliant. So listen, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed today. If you enjoyed, put it in the chat if you enjoyed the match. If you enjoyed it, why not give us a like? Why not give us a like? What have you got to lose? Give us a like. Give us a like. I had 3K on Jabba. My God. I put about three pounds. <laughs> yep, he called it. He called it. <laughs> Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once. I'll tell you what, he's a master of the obvious. He is the, he's the master of the funny quote as well. He's the master of the funny quote. 
Lexi, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining in and giving us some comments and keeping us all going through the rain delays. Hope you've enjoyed it over in Philippines, is it, where you are? And Casper Rudd and Sitsipas keeping you happy on the screen. Sorry that Tommy Paul's gone out, but there we go. So, come on. Quick coffee. Oh. Quick coffee. Any final thoughts on this match? Great to see Jabur break her duck over Benchich. Great to see Benchich exit with a smile. Great to see the match get finished. Great to see so many people here keeping me company on my second commentary. Yeah. So I think it is time to say goodbye. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Hopefully, going to see you all again soon. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the rest of the tennis, the rest of the tournament, and hopefully see you online again soon.